<laughs> so, real ass intro now. Here's what we're doing. <laughs> no, go Wait, back. no, go back. All right. So we're going to be creating a tier list for the My Hero Academy uh, card board game, game, board game, yeah, card game characters that have been released so far uh, for My Hero Academy only draft, and then also for standard universes. Uh, uh, Jose and I are two uh, universes players. We've been we've been popping every event during the uh, during the pandemic. Uh, Jose is actually the greatest player ever born. Um, Ooh. and Ooh, I just, what? I just supply him with cardboard to slink, honestly. Oh, is that it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we're doing all three. I think it's important to think about them in all three contexts. Um, and it's, it's also an interesting thing because sometimes characters are crazy and draft, but not so good in, 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 you know, the actual format and, and vice versa. Um, so it's cool to see that now, now this tier list, as you can see on the left consists of God tier S A B C D and trash can. Uh, I think. Most characters are going to be somewhere in between A and C, uh, but my opinions on the subject are God tier would be characters that are broken on release, right? Just like untenable. You can't, you have no game into it no matter what. It has 100 to zero matchups against everything, everything, right? You have to, you have to basically sack to kill that character, right? Yeah. Uh, S tiers would be characters that could like top and win an event with a solid pilot, right? Like you have a good pilot that wrecks face with that, that character. That sounds like A tier to me, though, right? Um, no, A tier would be like this tops easy, right? It okay, has a chance at winning, easy. right? Like S tier would be a character that like I would expect to win, right? Okay. Like I would, okay. I would like going into event that is the deck, right? Like there, this is the deck. Like when Kevin Broberg was in the format, um, for that universes, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So so like, or like like when Ash was there, yeah, like like in a good format there are no S tiers, right? S tier is like they have something that pushes them above, and God tier is just like broken, right? Like Atagrasu yeah. or whatever that people talk about. Um, a would be things that could easily top, right? They're very very strong characters, um, but they're not unfair tier, which is what I would say S is. S is the unfair yeah. character tier. So um, A is you expect them to see them in top guns, right? Yes. A is is these are the workhorse characters. A uh, B tier is characters that could definitely top. Um, but they have drawbacks that prevent them from being consistent enough to be like like I wouldn't be surprised to see them in in a in a top cut or something like that because you know Car UFS and Universus and the My Hero Academy card game whatever you want to call this um, every character has like potential right if you put enough time on it they they you just gotta deal damage right and everybody yeah, has attacks. Beat, beat. B tier is like, oh, that top, nice. You know, yeah, it's, nice. It's like it's, it's like it's like a slight surprise, yes. you know. Yeah, yeah. C would be characters that are like kind of meme, meme, right? Like you're doing something super, super funny, and you're you're accepting that you've got like maybe a forty percent win rate into the whole format, right? Or so this is not very good. Yeah, right? I would, I would definitely, like, I would be surprised to see them top or something like that. D is okay. just flat bad, and trash can are characters that just don't work. Yeah, I, I, the thing about C tier is that there's a lot of characters that could be in C tier that are just not fun either, right? Right. Or they don't they don't have like the support, right? Like there could be good characters, but right. they don't have the support to do it. So there are going to be contextualized with these things. Yeah, I, um, I think C tier is the legendary could be good later tier, you know? Yeah, that is good. That is a good point. Um, D, I think that most of the characters that we have today are going to be th through A through C. I'd be surprised. Yeah, D means don't play it, right? Yeah, D is for don't play, yeah, for sure. And trash can is just because I like I like to have trash can there. Um, yeah. All right, so without further ado, let's start with All Might. Um, his support is surprisingly good. Uh, his UR is pretty crazy for my hero only. It's just like it, it's he'll catch people with their pants down. Um, I don't think he's uh, insane. Like, I wouldn't be surprised to see this character in Top Cuts, but I think that his form is a serious drawback in this format because if somebody doesn't want to die i think that it's pretty easy, easy not. Cool. yeah it's 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 pretty easy not to if you choose to not yeah. like tap out foundations to like swing out on somebody you can choose not to die um playing. there's very few characters that can kill you even through defense and yeah. he, and you know this is not one of them like it's yeah. powerful it's cool but it's not like reliable exactly because of a lot of speed and damage resets yeah. and his form is a big drawback even if he has attacks that let, let him go like you know, 11 hand eyes in a single turn, right? So I think he's B tier in my hero only because he he has lots of support between Midoriya, Nomu, Kaminari, himself, a lot of these fury punch attacks. Like there's, he has, he has so many ways he could play the deck uh, on all. Uh, he's got his own stuff and I guess there aren't any other punches on all, but Earth has, uh, not has, all. 
Earth has Nomu and Kaminari. Good has himself and Midoriya and Kaminari. Um, so he's mainly gonna... good. Also has a punch throw, right? Right. Oh, true. Yeah, has a punch that throw he that powerful. he can get powerful. That's that's always going to be relevant. Um, yeah. In draft, his common attacks aren't so great. And coming and and sorry, and Nomu's attacks. I would rather be playing Nomu for. Um, you don't get access to the Midoriya throw. Um, so I just feel like he's not going to be good there. I think he's C tier in draft specifically because he wants big fast attacks and all his attacks in draft that he can pick up. You can't pick up Midoriya stuff. Uh, so all you have to access is like Nomu things. And like, if you get some URs, if you like, you like sack and, and get a bunch of punch URs, you could probably do it. Um, but I don't think he's got the gas to do it in draft. I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe the sheer card advantage he has early on is enough to push him in draft. Like, right. But again, like, like, right? like, like, if you're playing to good players, if I'm playing into All Might, I build to block and outlast him because eventually he's just going to be a three hander, you know. Right. Um, uh, but like, th does the limited availability of speed resets, like damage resets, bump him up in draft, or does, does he does he just like? Uh, know, there aren't as many resets. Um, but you can overload high. Excellent. Hey, bro, thanks. Appreciate that. Um, you can overload. I draft a bunch of high blocks. Uh, most of the threatening stuff that are commons in this set are high. So draft a bunch of high blocks and you're probably good. I think he mostly goes mid too, right? Yeah, mid and high, but like that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, and then in standard, he goes up to A tier. I am though. What do you think? Under Earth? Under Earth, he gets massive size, and that's yeah, crazy. He gets, and he gets, and he gets the biggest yeah, boy. Shoken Stomp. Oh, no, Shoken. Okay, shoken. So he Whatever. So firmly, here's why I think here's why I think he's A tier, in, in, right? Yeah. In A tier, this man can play massive size and one gun and yeah. just gauge the other All Might's extremely easily because, uh, you know, he has lower hand size than you, so one gun becomes a throw, and yeah. he gets to stack the other All Might's very easily, and now yeah. he has the advantage of not only oh true eight hand size in the first turn, but yeah. then he can commit himself to draw two. He gets the plus damage and speed from All Might too. Yeah, all uh, all, all is. His his chains have been lifted in standard for sure. Yeah, he gets whatever the hell All Might Four does. I have no idea, but he probably does something pretty cool. <laughs> True. Yeah, for I think I think he's an easy A. Uh, just because yeah. he's a he's a tanky five hander. He draws a bunch early, and then like if he sacks on you later, he's gonna be he's gonna be pocket out. Yeah, yeah. He, he gets to be a, a five hander that gauges under Biako symbols and yeah. pretty good. Like I want to play this guy. He's a he's a he's an all five hander quote unquote. Earth five hander quote unquote yeah give me that character. Um, next up is Kaminari, and I think this guy is kind of cracked. I, I think he goes straight to A. I'll yeah. be honest with you. Yeah, I this dude. Straight to a. This dude is is actually kind of cracked. Um, if you all you need to do is find a dunk, um, and like threaten right. Like once you find the lethal attack, you just you just send out that card that guaranteed does damage and then do once per game and just dunk the ever living shit out of them and he pokes like a motherfucker too that once per game is terrifying yeah he's very very strong if he misses right he doesn't do much right yeah. um like once he if you can if you can outlast that response but boy he can get way ahead or kill you he, with that he plays a lot like against inferno or if you manage to survive his for his like once per game then he becomes like uh he becomes like what he becomes in the show he becomes like this yeah. He just loses. Yeah, he just he runs out of his out of his juice. Yeah. But funnily yeah. enough, even after his one spurt game, he has a little bit of sauce because his enhance is very good. His enhance is good. He's target committal, right? But but like yeah. you know, he doesn't put stats on things, right? He's no, he's no, relying no. on that. And so so that's this is like an asterisk S tier for me in draft. Um because he can get a million of his common, and there's so many charges uh that are prevalent in the format, right? Like you can get all of all of uh and like you can disagree with here, that's fine. But like I think if you if you draft his UR or his rare or um or Uraka's throw, he gets crazy, right? So that's asterisk, right? Because if you find it, if you find his rare or his UR, I think you kill somebody. But are there re are there any like really good momentum dumps, like common momentum dumps on his symbols for draft? I mean his his uh not commons, I don't think. Yeah, right? like on commons or whatever. Yeah, if you can find one, maybe. Uh, I think, like, on air, he has, uh, the Uraraka rare, um, that gets powerful equal to charges in your card pool. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. Um, but it's a rare, right? 
Um, and then uh, Jiro's rare also has powerful two on it. His attack, his six diff is basically power two full two without having to spend the momentum. Yeah, you're right, right. I, I um, guess the thing is, the thing is that you know, you know, if if you, if you draft one of his attacks that has like a powerful dump, right, you play it, right. Well, so that's the thing is that he, he all of the commons, like the charge commons, are nuts, right? Uh, Jiro's flash common is is super undervalued in draft, I think, mm -hmm. um, or I guess it's uncommon, right? Where it's like like it's a four low four, and low blocks are are kind of a premium in draft. Uh, a lot of the like rares and stuff like that are the ones with 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 low blocks. Yeah. Um, so that one, it just makes your stuff really easy later on. So like, I'd chuck as many of those as I could find. Um, the, uh, the Uraraka, uh, common throw is really big. Um, his own common just like always does damage. So you're always going to be getting momentum out of it. You can always that get your, it's very strong. It's super good. And then his, his, uh, his uncommon has like basically powerful three one time. Um, so he, he's just, he's, I think he's really strong in, uh, in, in draft. Yeah, yeah, in draft, if you do not prepare for them, he will just kill you. So that, that, that's pretty good. In standard, I think that he is a high B tier. Um, there are tons of characters that can kill you on two. Um, and if you can't block, like, tons of things are going to kill you. So, like, this character yeah. can totally kill you on two with gigantic, like, thun Scarlet Thunders or something like that. Or But there's, like, like, charge attacks aren't, like... A premium they don't, they don't do like like i'm trying to think of crazy charge attacks off the top of my head in standard i might i might be thinking me wrong can you can you think of anything that that he does in standard that like i haven't really looked at that guy in standard i was kind of just like looking at him in a uh let's see i mean his last game is really good in standard right oh sure sure uh, but i'm saying that like like compared to other characters that can just kill you on two like it's not like it's not that unusual, right? You have like royal it's not, poison. It's not that crazy. I guess it's not that crazy. It's it's, um, it's nothing out of, out of like this world or anything. Yeah, like I think in standard, his ability is just like, you know, there's tons of characters that can that can dunk you onto. He's just yeah. He does that in in my ear. Okay, cool. Next character, this Kirishima guy. Um, so this guy, I don't know if anybody's seen his support, <laughs> but uh, this guy with his foundation is quacking crazy i think if there's anything near the s tier in my hero only it's this guy yeah um because he's consistent on every turn of the game right your turn my turn early late mid he's just very good very strong he's squishy you know kind of but he blocks like a motherfucker the only thing he doesn't deal with very well is speed so characters that can yeet speed at you um and and hence scale just as hard as he does i'm thinking like uh uh um, Eraser Head, Jiro, yeah. uh, Momo can deal with him. It's just he's so consistent and he chucks so many attacks at you. He's cracked. I think this dude goes into S tier in My Hero Only. He's, he's terrifying in, yeah. in, in My Hero Only. He is, he's so scary. Yeah. In draft, I think he is also crazy because his two common and, and his uncommon and common are crazy good. And the more you get of his regular common, oh my god. Oh, that's a problem. Yeah. That card just says you, it's a it's a four difficulty five mid five or five high five, right? And if they block it, you build it. He's also good no matter what you draft, really. Yeah. Because I think like his his enhance is just so so yeah. so targeted. It's good. Right? Well, so he doesn't need punch, right? But if you can draft a bunch of his common, uh, he's cracked. If he's if you don't yeah. if you get other punches, a tier. But otherwise, I think that dude's an S in draft. Yep, I agree with you. Uh, like that's an that's an easy win the event if you can draft the right cards. The problem is that you will definitely be seeing tons of people drafting him. Uh, right. And then in standard, I think this dude is a tier. Uh, I, he he plays cool bar stuff really good. Um, he's very 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 strong. Um, but uh, if you're not Mark Tyner, I think this guy is not as survivable. Right. They banned Kuwabara for this SMH my head. SMH my head, uh, yeah. So here's the thing about about Kirishima in, in in standard, right? Yeah. He gets to be Kuwabara in desperation, kind of, where he yeah. gets to pick All up the, the things time, right? that he's building actively during the turn, and that's right. pretty good. Like that, that's very strong. Yes. He doesn't get the card pool tier Kuwabara gets, but uh, he has a foundation that does that. That his three dip just mm -hmm. does that. Right. So so, that, so if it were a format thing. where no one could interact with my board, I'd say he would be in the S tier for standard, but. Like interacting with his board is not that hard. 
It is yeah. not. And they banned protecting the protector, so he yeah. loses a lot of the divas <laughs> that he had there. Yeah. Uh, he's definitely A tier, I say. Yeah. I think he's A tier. I, I wouldn't I don't think he's unbeatable. Like I think if you get the perfect draw for for, for Kirishima and Kaminari, yeah. I think you win. Right? Like if you just he's... drafted the nuts, I think you win that event. Um and then in my hero only, I think he's clearly better than most of the format. Um yeah. But uh, uh, in in standard, I think I think he's you can deal with him. Uh, I I, I, think I do he... believe that I, I do believe that there are ways to build your deck around beating Kirishima. But the fact that you have to do that says something, right? Right. Yeah. And and the 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 thing is that in standard you have ways to like stuff his pool. Um, he doesn't deal with speed very well, and his symbols mm -hmm. like Earth has good speed hate. I guess good. Also has it now with the Jiro Foundation, um, but he is a he's an he's a, he builds like an actual five hander, right? Yeah, that is a thing, right? If you're not attacking him, you can you can just kind of like you, you don't have to give him the full the free build, right? And I wouldn't poke this guy. I would try to no. I would try to hundred to zero him. If you're poking him, he's he's able to sculpt and he's able to build. Like don't poke him, don't yeah. don't poke this guy. Just just also I think. I think worth mentioning, he has like one of the few attacks that is just immune to plus ultra in a uh, hardened pummel. Does it say you can't? You block can't with... play actions during the attack. Oh wow, that's yeah, so he's immune to stop. That attack is immune to stop. That attack is immune to uh, uh, the steel and erased. It's immune to uh, evil. Oh, that's really evil good. Gaze. Yeah, pummel's yeah. really good, huh? Yeah, it's like five speed mid. Yeah, but so he, yeah, he's he's definitely one of the stronger characters. Then we got eraser head. Everybody's been. Crying about this dude, he's crazy, he's cracked, he's insane, right? Um, but I think he kind of struggles to kill dudes, right? He's very good at defending, he's very good at poking, but uh, he's kind of struggling for a dunk, right? Like, he's, like... I think in My Hero Only, he tries to do uh, Staff Strike stuff, right? Like, that's how he tries to get his kill in. Is he gets to play Staff Strike and not have to worry about, like, Kirishima drawing the perfect blocks and like he gets to mess with Denki. Um he gets to mess with all my like he's his defense is 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 near impregnable if you want to be, right? Uh I think his his matchup with Jiro is kinda of funny because she responds before he does offensively. Yeah. I, I think his matchup with Kaminari is hilarious because he gets to seal his face, take the attack, and he doesn't get to once per game. Right. Yeah. Is that is that, is a race at that speed really? No, 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 but like... Oh, it's uh, during this so, attack. Cause, yeah. Oh, because damage is during... That's funny. Yeah, he doesn't get to. That's funny. Yeah. So I think in my hero only... What do you think? I, I say A. I don't think he's S tier. Plus two and minus two speed on every attack is terrifying. It's uh, really good. He, he has to... Really he, good. He's actually discarding a card if he wants to clear your face, though. Right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, in a racer head, who is not responding with his card um, is terrifying to me because then he's actually just giving things plus and minus two and he, and he doesn't care about me, right? Um, so he's the, the way I see it. Uh, something that that's really good with the razor head is going to be able to know exactly when he needs to uh, make you unable to play cards. Yeah. And there is there is nothing that I've seen that really interacts with the race at a level where like it's consistent that you can negate it. Right. Uh, and also he has access to the only negation card that I think we've seen. Yeah. Like uh, very few people get to play that card just because of how stringent the cost is. We have to remove it an, an action from your discard pile. So he gets to play it basically for free, and that's a very strong card. Yeah. So I, he just seems really strong to me. Like he, he. I, I do think he's really strong, but I don't think he's unbeatable, right? Right. I don't think he's unbeatable either. But like, I, I feel yeah. like he's up there with Kirishima personally. Okay, I'll put him. I'll put him in high A tier for for me, right. All right. All right. because right. this is my stream, and I think he's. But but I I agree with you. I'll put I'll put the Jose asterisk over here. Ah, uh, thank you, thank you. Put the Jose asterisk. He, he Jose thinks this guy belongs in a in S tier. Um, in draft, if you get, if you can get his action, it's an uncommon, so you'll probably find one, right? Uh, if it's draft, easy, easy A, I think. Easy A. Easy A. Uh, his, it's just that he does, he struggles to kill you with comments, right? He has no dunks. He's not going to kill Kirishima, like, yeah. ever. Like, on death, he gets to use, um, the, the, he gets to kind of poke you to death with, um, uh, the hands guy, uh, yeah, Shigaraki on Shigaraki's common. common. It, uh, he yeah. gets to use uh, Nomu stuff. Like he, 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 he's consistent. He's gonna kill you over three or four turns. Um, but he doesn't dunk, and you have to find his his uncommon. Um, in sealed, I wouldn't play him unless you find his uncommon. 
Um, sealed is kind of hard for this game in general, and we're not talking about it anyway. But anyway, yeah, I think he's an A in draft. And then in standard, uh, this dude, I think, is... Uh, is Okay. I think he's B tier in standard. Uh, I think he's got great attacks. I think... I But, like, uh, you could just play Bane, guys. Like, maybe I'm wrong. Like, he's an all-symbol character who draws two cards after he plays an action and gives everything plus or minus two speed, but he sure does have 19 health. Um, I have literally... I have only seen one all seven hand size be good, and that woman, like, makes you replay attacks, so... Yeah, I, I'm i probably wrong. Like, he's definitely extremely good, and he, and saying no to characters is so strong in standard universes. Um, But I think that there has... Like, Bang has been in the format for a, a, an eternity. Uh, no, we, 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 we have to be honest with something. Yeah, yeah. His, his card is not Bang. It is, it, is, it is not Bang. Sure. It really isn't. Uh, he, like, if you're going to play a Razorhead, you probably just want to play Bang, right? Right. And that feels a little redundant, too. Uh, a seven hand size that gives things plus or minus speed is good, but not on sure. these symbols because so these symbols I, struggle to kill. Like, I think in standard, you just play around being a, a functional, like, quote-unquote, nine-hander. Or like every other turn, you get to see eleven cards by doing it on your opponent's turn and then your own hand. Um, and he has the safety of always having this thing on play, right? Like always having the response when he needs it. Um, so you could play it around that way. I think he's definitely good. I I'm just I don't think he has the juice. Every old character that I've ever played uh, has some broken character effect they're doing um, between you know right, Shimitsu, so Janet. He you go ahead, sorry. Yeah. Here's what I feel. He's limited. He's locked into all unless he wants to lose to Fatality. Uh, so uh, he... On Void, he has... On Void, he has an answer. Sorry. On Void, he has an answer. He has the Grand Foundation. But then you have to play the Grand Foundation. Correct. Then you're on Void. But I'm just saying. He, he has it. Yeah. <laughs> um. But but yeah, I, I think I think I would put him at high high B... Because I would be surprised if this character is crazy. I might be wrong. I haven't really looked at him because I don't think he's exciting. Um, right. He is a seven-hander with the all symbol, and that's probably pretty good. Um, but yeah, let, we, we spent enough time talking about him. Let's talk about Tokiyami in My Hero Academy only. If you want to kill right. uh, Kirishima, this is one way you kill Kirishima. Just bird him. Yeah. Bird's crazy, bird dude. Bird Bird draws two of his UR in in my ear only, and, and somebody dies. Bird is gonna fucking kill you. Bird doesn't give a fuck. He will kill you. His support is so good too. Yeah. So in his two div that says they check a five is crazy. Yeah. It, it, the only problem he has is that he like he's kind of locked into his support, right? Yes, very much so. Right, like all his support reference ally, and I don't, I didn't see very many ally cards. Uh, you could just play his UR and not like, and not worry about uh the uh the for like the forward. If you could play Dark Shadow Talon because that card is just a four mid eight printed. Yeah. If you just have a single Dark Shadow app, so that card is just normal good. Uh, right. Other cards you don't really need to worry about. Like you can just play other good stuff out of Fire, good stuff out of Evil, good stuff out of Chaos, right? Right. Uh, I think uh his best symbols are Chaos and Fire, mm -hmm. because all of his attacks are ranged, and he gets to play to a rookie ship. True. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty good. Uh, probably better than Todoroki does, because I don't think Todoroki is very good. So I think of those two symbols, he gets to do a lot of crazy stuff. Like, you know, plays intense to mill five, activate the draw two on Frigid Heat Wave, Dark Shadow, then go into Bird Storm. Like, you know, crazy stuff. Yeah. Yeah, so I put him in A. I think yeah, he a, does a lot of damage. He, yeah. He, he, his zero diff foundation just gives him so much damage bump. Yeah, I, I, think, I think easily the best aggro character. Uh, it, it just, he's just so locked into his own support because of needing the action and, and, but he, because of the mill, he plays with Todoroki stuff, like you said, uh, and that's clearly intentional. There's two symbols with the guy, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I think his stuff is ranged, right? Uh, right. his stuff is ranged. Like he, he will kill Kirishima. Like he, he, she will, he's the one, of, he's, he's the one that can very easily do it. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. Uh, in a draft, is his common good enough to carry him? Like, uh, which if you, one is if you sack into, like, five of his action, what happens? <laughs> if you, if you, if you sack 
into like two or three or four of his action, right? Yeah, let's, let's say five. Yeah, and okay. you get enough dark shadow talons, you're sending a lot of four mid eights. Yeah. Oh, you think uh, it, is that is that the slash one, the one that gets like one speed for each ally card? Yeah, that dark shadow talon. Yeah. Yeah, that one's yeah, that's pretty good. That that's the common, I think, right? It's just Actually, really hold on. So dark shadow talon is the common. Uh, oh, they're both. He has two comments. Yeah, this yeah. guy's pretty crazy. You just have to yeah. find. You have to find the, the actions. And the thing is, he's kind of like niche. So I don't think a lot of people will be drafting it. So you could probably get a few of those. It's just, it's just, you know, like if you only have one of the summon dark shadow in your deck, it's not good. Yeah. Like if you want to, if you want to high roll, play this character, you know. But if you don't high roll and get multiple of the, uh, of sh shadow, then if you draft a lot of his curative, he is really good in draft. Oh, true, yeah. Just because give he just anything. gives every one of it's his attacks a billion damage. Anything. You just commit your face. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's actually kind of funny. You could play any of those symbols and just start tapping your character. If yeah, you if, you just, if you just get a little stronger in Dark, you'll be like, all right, sick. <laughs> like, play Chaos and put 100 of that card in Uraraka, right? Yeah. You know, like, yeah, that yeah. That could be pretty cool. You commit face, and then, like, your throws have plus four, plus your damage. Your throws have a billion yeah. damage. That seems pretty good to me. I think, I think that that'd be pretty cool. Um, and then in standard, I think this guy's also like an A high A tier. I think very aggro, not quite can, still pretty good. Yeah. So unlike Kaminari, he packs stats on things, right? Yeah. Like, and that's kind of the name of the game. Like M minus one damage can be relevant if it's on every attack. Shout out to Quan Chi. Sure. Yeah, that's true. But the other thing is that he doesn't like he doesn't need his face too much, you know. Offensively, no. once he has the the dark shadow, he's like he's in there. Like I'm committed, and and like. <laughs> Well, you're gonna play stop on me, dude. You're gonna you're gonna bang yeah. me, dude. Like you're gonna bang me, bro. Yeah. <laughs> like like he's not even that afraid of revoke, really, just because his stuff is just it's it's static stuff, you know. Yeah. Like the yeah. revoke he, is relevant for canceling the uh the dark shadow ruin, yeah. yeah. His enhance on that on that UR, but if he gets that UR off, like oh man, that's a big turn. He's yeah. got he's I, got I think... like you go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Finish. finish. I was gonna say he's got the same energy as Turnaloose, where he like for similar reasons, right? Like his his UR is basically the same thing as Nether Storm. Uh, except for with a different kind of aesthetic, right? Yeah. Um. The, the way that I think is different is that he gets to pick up a, uh, like a plus two mid block every turn, which is pretty cool. That's pretty cool. You know, he gets to pick a plus two mid block. He gets to plus three strike the block. Oh, very does he cool. do that defensively? That's just a once per turn. Oh, damn. That's really cool. So the the thing is that, oh, but you're going to commit him to play Dark Shadow Ruin. Right. Well, if you just get this little card called Frog and, Frog and Pro Take Down, you can just ready him. Oh. So now he's ready during your opponent's turn, and you can get dark. You can get some dark shadow. Yeah, you get to do it on game. both turns. That's that's relevant. That's really cool. And also, I think under these symbols, he gets access to some very cheeky reversals. Like you know, he right. can block with dark shadow, hit you with Lilitudes, uh, of a fire, right? Dunk your face, you know. Okay, I, I think, I I'm think down. He's very good with reversals too. Uh, this guy, Sero. People are losing their minds over Tape Man. Tape Man and Tape Swing. Uh, so Tape Man alone. Not that crazy. Uh, powerful two throw. <laughs> you're you're going to have to convince people of that because people are losing their minds over draw two. Really? Yeah, people people are losing it. They they think this is this is straight value. Now. So here's the thing: you have to partially block, right? So you go into his turn with three different uh zones, right? I think this character is cracked against seven handers, right? Because seven handers can't afford to just tank it, right? But this character, staring at Nomu, staring at All Might, staring at Kirishima, because Kirishima can target draw whatever zone he needs, right? Um, is, like, I don't think it's that scary. Like, People I think are, this... are also not aware that you could just not block. Yeah, you, you, that's the thing. So, so as a seven-hander, you have to race him, I think. I think you have to race him. Or just, like... Like, don't be so scared of the of the draw two and just defend until you can hit him. Because he doesn't... Like, he doesn't... He doesn't have much, like, defensive gas. Um, okay. And, like, he has water, so he'll have, he'll have access to some good stuff. Uh, defensively, Void is... Very good. Void it isn't... Very good. Well, in my hero. In my hero, Void is not irrelevant, you know? Yeah, that's what I mean. You, yeah. you, can, you can dunk them with uh, 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 Ida's UR, you know? Like, he plays... A, he has a really interesting kits. Uh, order... Or, or water, he has the ranged package, because I think most of his stuff is ranged since he's yeah. Spider-Man, right? Um, yeah, he's spider manning his way. But I think this guy is another A, a character because he bullies seven hand size. He he's uh, he's lower A tier to me because he can't deal with 
Kirishima. I think Nomu takes an absolute ever-living dump on him because uh, he doesn't care about his big attacks, and most of his little ones are coming in for four to six anyway. Um, I'm going to give you A tier because in my hero only, the once per game is very relevant to set up his old order. Yeah, yeah. I think I think he's I think he's very good. I think he bullies seven hand sides. I don't think he's broken. Um, yeah, I, I think I, he's, I think he's really cool. I, I don't I don't I don't I would be surprised to see him win an event, but I think he's easy topping most of them. I believe in Scott the Jarnet and no one else for Tape Man. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, he 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 yeah he claimed Tape Man. It belongs to him. Yeah. I believe in him specifically. In in drafts in particular, uh, he has like he has a couple throws. He's I think. Right? Rumley, just make everything low. What are they gonna do? Block it? True, yeah. I mean, so that's that is a thing. You can commit a foundation and he his his uh his zero diff is really, really cheeky. Um, yeah. Uh, tape that. is one of my favorite foundations in my hero only. Tape yeah. is so good. And that's also a common. You should draft uh -huh. as many tape as possible on those symbols. Uh but his common's a throw. Um and I think it's like you easy make it low every time and then try to draw two, right? Um but he's not doing that much else like i think i think he's got two uncommon attacks so it'll be kind of weird if you if you get a bunch of his tape shot it's probably nuts because you just get an easy like four low six every time with it yeah um I mean, you have to, it's a five diff at that point you have to commit a foundation for it like eh, i don't know I, I don't i don't believe in him in, in draft i i would I, I what do you think i believe in harvey Dent because okay so bromley, bromley yeah. imagine this right you're drafting your zones are whack. You got like a million of this zero diff. You, yeah. you just have like twenty highest bloods in your deck, and yeah. it just goes low every time. Uh, so what? You partially you partially block him, lol. <laughs> block who? Whatever. I, <laughs> I, 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 I think, I, but I think it's the same I, thing. I think yeah. he's bullying seven handers, and then and then like you know, like in draft, Nomu's fucking crazy, right? Like. Kirishima and Nomu are, are going to be the guys you're playing into, and and Kirishima gets to loop whatever low block he wants. So, I think he's yeah. I think he's B tier in, in draft. Standard. Right, uh, right. This guy's. But what about what? All right. But but what about? No, you got me. Yeah, he's B tier in standard. Yeah. No, sorry, he's 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 like, he's like C tier, B tier in draft. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's he's B tier in, in draft. Uh, yeah, standard, B, I do B think he's fun. B. I think he's B in standard too. Like like he's he's not hard to race. And no. he's not good at racing you. Like those symbols are not good at dunking. They're good at value town where you like like moonset, meteor, all that stuff. And like the thing is, he can go, I can send an attack for big enough that you have to partially but you can't tank it, right? Mm -hmm. But those cards you can just block. Like like low zone moonset, hype. Low zone meteor, <laughs> hype. I'm there. But if you're playing against him in standard, just hold a high and a low, right? Hold your hold your low blocks. Call his bluff, you know. Yeah. Um, what if he does when you? What do you? What do you do when he plays chaos scissors though? Oh, you you you, uh, you suck. <laughs> you scoop instantly, right? Yeah. So so you would have to have two low blocks, right? But again, yeah. that's six damage, right? It's six damage. No, because he's because not pumping You can't it. change the zone of chaos scissors. Oh, okay. Well, if you first enhance it, if you first enhance it, sure. But he can make it yeah. low if he wants to, and not first enhance it, I guess. Um, yeah, I, I, my, my main issue with him is that in standard, his his once per game is gonna get him killed. Yeah. Uh, because imagine doing a once per game and your opponent just reveals big cyclop. Right. No, he's or playing like, that card right now. Want, or pure of heart. Yeah, you. I mean, you want. Oh, you. Yeah, yeah. It's less good. Yeah, yeah. That's true. That's true. You, you get to like you get once to per see. game. Then they show you their hand. It's to pure heart. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think it's neat. I think it's a, a neat little response thing. Yeah. Like, it's. Funny. Uh, I, I, I do think that he has one niche that he could explore very well was it uh and that is just trying to throw out gigantic spoil your souls but he doesn't do that as well as other characters do so how's he making it gigantic that. oh uh so i i just like the idea of like you know what Lilith used to do when you, you used to play tomahawk like uh toma t hawks fucking uh make uh low attack that goes high okay so he gets to send high swallowers Oh, that's cool. Yeah, okay, all right, that's fine. It's, it's just funny. It's just funny. Um, Midoriya is unfortunately kind of trashy. I think this is a <laughs> this is a C. Like you can play this guy. Yeah. Ten damage is ten damage, guys. And his and his secret rare is relevant, man. Like this is really He's good. High C tier. However, He's the height of C tier. Yeah. However, um, uh, oh, can you play him in a? You can't play him in draft. 
You can't play him in draft? Which means he's automatically trash can. Yeah, so he, he goes into the trash can in draft. Uh, in standard, I, I also put him in the trash can. <laughs> no, 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 wait, but let's put him in no. D tier. I, no, I, I do think he's like C or D tier. I'll, I'll give him no, C. No, D. D, yeah. I, no, no, yeah. I, I won't I, give him I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't believe in Harvey Dent in this case. It's, it's I, I, I mega don't believe like, Harvey Dent is such like, as fuck. You can, the thing is that if somebody could like galaxy brand and just know your every move, and the enhance becomes super hype in those situations, right? Like, if someone galaxy brains you and knows your every move, they could probably just win playing someone else. Sure, but I'm just saying, I wouldn't be surprised to see somebody like like JJ just like shows up with Midoriya and reads everybody like a book, you know? Like, yeah. I, I mean, could see I, it. If you tell me that Evan shows up to an event and just wildly guesses and he's right 100% of the time. I, yeah, he wins. Yeah, yeah. sure. That's fair. Okay, I, I'm with you. He's that's definitely D two. Uh, Bakugo. Uh, however, the one the one thing uh, the one thing that I do feel that he has in my hero only though that could uh -huh. push him forward is I do think that his throw is relevant. I do think that his uh, extra rare is relevant, and I do think that he has access to enough damage bump and enough like the the card pool is so small that someone that really knows their stuff could really just like do well with that. Oh yeah, yeah. I wouldn't like only. he's the character is bad, but. Um, but you could play the character. Like, he has play. That's why he's not D tier in, in My Hero Only. Like, the character is definitely playable, and you could win with it, you know, not maybe not easily, but you could just be super knowledgeable. But think about it. It's thematic, right? Midoriya in Season 1 was trash tier, dude, but he's just super yeah. smart. He's super smart, and he used his abilities properly. You just gotta use your abilities properly, man. Uh, in Wabakago was born better, so he gets B tier. Yeah, this guy's this guy, uh, I think, is top of B tier in my hero. His abilities are, uh, he's, he's, he's six hand size aggro, right? Um, but he has the benefit of just like late game having four copies of the, um, I think he's kind of cracked with no moves you are. Uh, yeah. it's just like take seven or I'm looping this until you take seven, right? Like, uh, it's, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of crazy. I, I do think yeah. he, he, I could see an argument for A tier. Um, just because he uh, has the secret rare and he and he's not bad, right? Like Midoriya yeah. has a great secret rare and he is bad. Bakugo is not bad. He's just a six hand size Egro character. Um, it's usually feel about Bakugo, right? Uh, his his two foundation that cycles to is actually playable in my hero. It's pretty yeah. nice. Yeah. Uh, he he gets to do a lot of like really unfair things with no moves you are in late in the game, which is pretty yeah. cool. Uh, he gets access to loser, which is pretty nice. Also, mm -hmm. uh, I think overall he he's strong, but he got left behind a little bit behind the times of right. you know the, the the support that came out. He's not even that cool, really. So Can't that, blame him. Draft. I think he's gonna stay in B. I do think he's gonna stay in B. Uh, standard. I think this character's A tier. All the oh shuffles. Boy, dude. Here it comes. All the shuffles, here it dude. Comes. Yeah, all the shuffles. This character's actually kind of crazy. Uh, but in the, standard. The really funny thing is that nothing's changed for him. Nothing's changed. No, I mean, like he he plays his support though. Like you know, it adds a few attacks that I would actually play. Um, like what? And his support is. Uh, let me go look at his stuff real quick. I think I would play his UR for one thing, or his his secret rare. His secret rare I would like to play, and then um his uh his uh his howitzer impact is like because we, you you and I know that loser Baki goes kind of real, right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, he, yeah. He's like that. That is the deck that you have to play him in standard if you if you want him to be A tier, right? Correct. Yeah, I, I, I think I just think that he's like he's got some cool, he's he's I, I don't know. I, I, looking at like the Fury stuff, I don't know if he has any gas he gets from it. Like it's basically mostly the same stuff. But I would play the Secret Rare just because it clears itself and it has a great block and and yep. so on and, and and he likes it a lot. You know, just in general. Um, I do think capabilities is really good. My hero only. I think capabilities is. Oh really yeah, good. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, for but for sure. Not exactly for him. Yeah. It's just like for other people. Yeah. For for anybody who doesn't know about that deck, you know, just, uh, just talk to me later about it. Um, yeah. uh, Jiro in my hero only, I think is crazy good. Uh, she's great, great. she's she's not killing you on two, um, but you do not win. Uh, turn four against this character, right? Like and she had the thing is that I think this is this is probably the the character that requires the most like deck building nonsense because she's very playable on all three of those symbols. Like, you know, like Sarah I think is essentially a water deck because you want to play Todoroki stuff. Um, Bakugo is like a, a a death or fire deck. Um, yeah. But Jiro I think I mean you can play all of Uraraka and 
coming arts charges on air um on all you have all those weapons good you have weapons um and, and a lot of the all my defensive stuff yeah and, and a lot of the all my stuff like like so you have you have a bunch of different ways to play this character and staff strike is crazy if you choose to go staff strike for this character it's not an aggro deck but somebody's dying somebody's dying when you get that chain off I do think that Jira has a bit of a lower floor than most characters just because of like her face isn't as con conducive to just exploding somebody. Right. But uh I think I think someone that really knows what they're doing and they like, build that deck very well can do really good with Jira. Like, you know, where uh Kirishima has a very low floor, Jira has a very high ceiling, right? Right. It's just it's just the amount of mind game of looking at your opponent's two top two cards. And oh, just yeah. being, like, and and having the information uh that she supplies you once per turn, both turns, just it's it's free real estate, dude. Knowing it's what you're so gonna good. check, one knowing what you're gonna check lets you really just like plan, and and that's what this character does incredibly well. I think her support yeah. is also incredibly hype. Um, I love her. You are her rare is also crazy. Um, and you don't need to yeah. run it though. Like like in the air package, I don't think you run the the rare. Um, you just run a bunch of like the charges. Like she plays with, in ah. in, she plays with Uraka throw really really well kaminari stuff really really well um and then you I, just I think, I think you run through i think you oh wait no ayama doesn't have air yeah i guess yeah. you wouldn't run the rare then yeah she doesn't share any symbols with with ayama unfortunately but but yeah she's she's pretty she's pretty cool in in my ear only yeah. i think i think this, the sky's the limit in terms of what you can do with her i'm gonna build 40 different decks of that character uh and of in, course you know late late string flash attack is gonna yeah. dunk you no matter what right yeah in draft you can't play on all or good i don't think um, but in air, you get all those charges, and it's free real estate. If you just get a bunch of Uraka's common throw, <laughs> I would spend every yeah. turn just going, play four foundations, th throw for 10 damage, you know? <laughs> if, you draft, if you draft a lot of her ultra rare and just run a all-flash Jiro deck, you might just kill somebody. <laughs> you could also just chuck a bunch of, of, of low freaking flash attacks, right? That's an uncommon, yeah. right? So it's not guaranteed. But her... her uh, you know she's got she's got the specialist of sound which i think is you know it's a it's a it's a not good but it's a low block it's a low block that also offers a lot of speed hate so like also that, she has access to the best like speed reduction on command in the game right yeah but in in, in the in, in the format i mean yeah yeah she, like she's getting to play these symbols is very good for Kipo it's very good i think i think she's a tier in uh in draft um just because of the the air symbols uh charge support on commons and uncommons, very good. You can just focus one attack and just yeet it at them. Huge, right? Yeah. And like later in the game, after you get like seven plus foundations, you can just go like attack, 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 attack. And it's like, are you dead yet? Okay, never mind. Um, in standard, I. A, A tier? A tier. A -tier. She certainly I, I has. For, I, I, for one, welcome Lord Raptor's Bunk Right Daughter. <laughs> oh, hang on, my, my screen is going nuts. Yeah, the, it looks like the stream is loading. All right. Uh, I think I think TTS is having a a conniption. Oh, no, no, no it, it, it was it was Twitch. It was Twitch. Oh, Twitch died. It's probably your internet. Yeah. Uh... Oh, hmm. I think I think it was your internet. I think the stream is back up though. Is it back up? Yeah. Uh. Yeah, it's back up. It's back up. We're good. Yeah. All right. Sick. So anyway, a sweet chain some music and they charge flash weapon. Uh, yeah, she has hella <laughs> charge weapons to play with on all of her. Yeah. Like air has a bunch, I think. Right? Air has the most. Um, she, she she is like a tiny version of Lord Raptor with a really good enhance that encourages to play like non flash attacks. Yeah. She has Miska's Wonder to give damage to. She has a, a girl like any other, you know, her own face to block good. And yeah. like all air really needs is to block good, and she gives you the ability to do that. Yeah. Not to mention that we get like things like Wall Fling back, and I think she becomes a very strong air deck. Yeah, I think I think she's she's a she's a pretty strong air deck, and she can also play all in good, uh, incredibly well too. There's enough weapons yeah. to play around. Uh, a, a lot of them have have charge. Um. I think she's dope. I think she's super dope. She's very good. Big fan. Big fan. Um, yeah, that's all I got to say about that. Uh, Minetta. Minetta is a troll, right? <laughs> and there is value in being able to block something once a turn, right? Like, just being like, ah, uh, no. Like, imagine playing against 
uh, Ida and being like, no, I think I will block this. Yeah, yeah. So this thing is printed now. What are you talking yeah. about? Like that's probably the best matchup for him. Um, yeah, it's 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 the fact that they can't receive bonuses anymore. Yeah. They're really just my my real problem with him is that his damage is conditional and he's a low health six hander, quote unquote, that has to lose one to do his his like offensive response. Um, so like, I could see him getting pogged out on. I think he's probably like B or C tier in. In my hero only. I think he has play because he has a gigantic attack that you have to block and then it supplies him with four copies of his other attack. Yeah, and the thing about sticky balls is that it guarantees his damage bump later on. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like like he's str I just think he has to build big and there are characters who do the build big thing better than him. I think he's B. I, th I think he's yeah. B. You think it's B tier? I I would I honestly have, I'm tempted to put him in C, but I'll 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 hear you. I don't, I don't think know. he's that bad, you know, because yeah. it's like you said, guaranteeing blocking something is very good in this format. Yeah. And plus two damage if you play sticky balls is not that stringent of of our requirement. You know, it's right. not quite six hand signs worthy, but it's pretty good. Uh, he has access to a lot of to a couple of cards that clog card pool, and that's like a premium in this format. So he gets to slightly ruin combo in that way. I think with his three diff. Right. Uh, his response is just bad. You know what? can you do there? I, th I think he's think he's B. I think he's yeah. a very low B. The response is neat. I I agree with that. Uh, in draft, I don't know what he does. Really, like his attacks are kind of slow. Um, if you get his UR, do it. Like if you open your if first you bag and it has his, and you have and his like, UR in it, just draw all of all. Like just just spend the rest finding all of the sticky balls, right? Yeah. If Does it say add all of them? Pinballs. All copies of Sticky Balls. Yeah, if you draft his UR, I think he goes to S tier because it's a meme and it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> because then it's meme as hell. Also, uh, you know, ten copies of Sticky Balls is pretty good because that's a high low, that's a one high block, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, like it's a one high block into a format. It turns on his going... character no matter yeah. what. Like, I think you have to do it if you draw his 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 thing. Um, but yeah. I'll put him I'll put him in uh in A for draft if you draw with an asterisk. Let me All let right. me. Uh, Let's so, the asterisk. Well, let's do B ask and then A A with an asterisk, right? All right, cool. Yeah, A with an asterisk. Let's put the asterisk. Right. Yeah, the asterisk is you, you got great brush charge. With if you are. If you're. If you oh if you're. <laughs> it doesn't like the the the, the thing. All right, that's fine. I'll put an asterisk next to him. Okay, cool. And then in standard, I think this guy is is a uh, he's, he's kind of. Yeah, uh, hold on. Hold on. You put him, put him in C at least. Like, I think he's on. easier in standard, dude. Uh, that's just, that's just, that's a little rough to him, you know. I think he's D tier, dude. There, like, like I block a thing is fine, but I don't think he's killing anybody in standard, dude. Like, he's he's like value I know town you're right. in a format where you're you're trying to like dumpster people, and you can't. I value... know that you're right. Yeah. But but balls. But balls. Yeah, just just say say sticky balls until you win. I I'm with that. I think he's D tier though. You can yeah, you, okay. You can put him in yeah. C in yours, but uh, I think he's the D tier. Uh, here's this this uh this 16 year old. Don't no no comments in chat, guys. No comments in chat. Keep it keep it PG in chat. This is that's a 16 year old girl. Uh, I think this character is crazy, in in my hero only. Uh, she's got. The, the weird thing is that, like, she's got two characters worth of support <laughs> because of Jiro, right? She uses... So Yoshimitsu's gone, and she moved into his house. So. Yeah, yeah, this is a functional seven-hander. She The one problem she has is that um, she is, like, super hungry for foundations, right? Mm -hmm. She needs to build for, like, three turns, but she is the queen of late game, I'm pretty sure. And in My Hero only, there's no way to interact with her staff strike. No. Um, I think that I think that this character is easy A tier. Um, yeah, easy, easy, easy A. I think the top, the absolute top of yeah of 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 A tier. Um, and I think she has a very fun matchup into Kirishima because she blocks incredibly well. Um, and and she can grab whatever zone she needs for the last block. And he doesn't yeah. screw with her build, right? So she's j like, if I were playing her, I would I would just build a whole bunch and then try to. He can't interact with her. He try to blast past Kaminari. Uh, Kirishima, Kirishima, Kirishima gets dunked by her asset like really hard. 
right? Right, right. Because she gets to mash his minus damage and then also, like, rebuild a couple cards, and that's yeah. very strong for her. Yeah, I, I think if this the, the thing that this character is scared of is aggro. You know, like, I would be I would be really scared to see Kaminari. I'd be scared to see uh, uh, Tokiyami, Bakugo, no, Nomu, uh, characters like that where you have to be blocking everything and, and like... Like with Nomu, you can't string him to this. You have to poke him a bunch every single turn, and she's not good at that. Um, so I, I might be a bit of a, a bit of a jump in timeline, but I do feel that she's mostly scared of Chigaraki just because of the shield D build that he that he's putting her under. I don't know. I, it's, it's, she's not aggressing into him. Um, it, it's right. he's definitely pressuring her, right? Like she needs to have good blocks. She has to have good reads. But if she doesn't, then yeah. But yeah, I'm I, just I, imagining a turn where Shigaraki goes evil gaze, block with something, right. destroy two foundations, and he's like, oh. In, in draft, though, I think she's fucking C or D. Uh, you have to have yeah. four of her asset, and that's just not happening. It's not a rare. I, I think she goes into D tier in draft. Unfortunate, because yeah. she's so yeah. cool, but you need the asset. It's like part of her character. Just, just don't worry about draft for now, because yeah. in standard, uh, I want to put her in S tier. <laughs> you want to put her in S tier, dude? Well, I want to put her straight in S. She has all the Yoshimitsu, and that's terrifying. Yeah. So in standard, so here's here's the here's the thing in standard. Like you can play life, and you can just block forever. I don't think she deserves S tier in standard because okay, okay. You, you put still her in a, put her in a. you still have to put block, right? Like I think you can fight past this character, and there's tons of things that can interact with her assets. You know, like I'm not as scared of, like i think it's crazy you know that that people are considering dedicated teacher and like cormorant and stuff like in this character but she's super thirsty for foundations so you can just like debuild her every turn you know um yeah like, I, I, like it's like it's like the, banned raptor, right? yeah yeah they banned raptor she has yoshimitsu's crazy support she has a manji ninja she target builds a manji ninja to eight years S tier, S tier. S tier. All right, I I'm super excited yeah, for. Her. I think she's crazy. I think she's fucking crazy, and I agree that she could be S tier. I just, I, I haven't played the deck. Um, okay. And you know, in, in interest of fairness, I think she should, she should be an A because we just don't know about, like, you know, what yeah. S means. I mean, like Terry, right? Terry was beatable, right? Terry was super beatable in retro. He was just super suffocating, right? And she's got yeah. Terry energy, right? It's just, but she's not quite Terry. She's not. She's not. It, like Terry was commit a foundation. She destroys the foundation to to loop that that elk shield. So like, I like her because she doesn't die to nightmare ever. <laughs> you know. Um, <laughs> but but like, I think that you can you can beat her. She's a twenty six health six hander um, who has real costs. Yeah. Um, so I. I I really want to put her in, in A just because yeah. of the interest of fairness. But I'm yeah. I'm I'm just imagining, oh yeah, she target picks a weapon from her discard pile. Oh no. Yeah, it's pretty she's definitely good. Um she doesn't have the same like like uh, Evil Bow and Manji is very good, but it's not it's not quite the same as as Yoshimitsu. It's not draw two and then also pick up what I want. But her face is Manji. Her face, her face, yeah. I mean, she gets around it for sure. But, but, um, it, the the thing to say to point out is that her bread and butter is playing staff strike, and unless you're on all, I don't think you can resolve staff strike very often. There's just so many things that interact with it in terms of combo. I do fucking hate combo. Yeah. I do fucking like, hate like combo. Shoken, uh, the 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 royal bodyguard, uh, precise blow, um, just things in general that can that can mess with it. it, it it's it's. Okay. It's there's a lot of things that mess with her offensive game plan, yeah. um, and she can't like like, I don't know. I I think she's I think she is very very good. I think the fact consider that she loops though. Elk Shield and Cormorant, nuts. Yeah. But consider this though. Yeah. Mechanical Ninja, Mechanical Ninja, Staff Strike. Yeah yeah yeah. I I agree with you. I know that's what I'm saying. On all she gets around it. On all she has Mechanical Ninja to deal with it. I'm very um, good. She has Andy's foundation, but that's not enough to actually let her resolve the combos very easily. Right. Yeah. Um. And and she is a six hander on builds and for her opener, so she's not like you know. I I think I think that she's very strong, but she's not unbeatable. She's not. This, but we'll we'll find out. I might be wrong. I might eat my words on that. I'm gonna say that's the most likely for me to eat my my uh my sticky balls. Uh. <laughs> Nomu is like a, a hard check for the format, right? You must be this tall to ride. Yeah. Well, you have to. You have to be able to kill this guy, right? Can you believe they banned my boy? So yeah, Nomu. 
Uh, no moves a hard check for most of the format. He can still be killed by Tokoyami because Tokoyami has like stunned a couple of his cards, and you can just like sheer pressure him. Right. Uh, he he gets dunked by Shigaraki. I feel. I feel like he just oh gets yeah. Dunked by Shigaraki yeah. This character. This character is held back by like I think he top cuts pretty much every event, right? Oh yeah, he's he's A for like, sure. But like unless... the reason I feel like he's not S yeah. is that. Oh, I don't. I don't think he's S even 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 if there's no eraser head or uh Enki or Shigaraki yeah. like. Like he gets bullied for sure, but uh like I don't I don't think that these abilities are enough like he he he's he's got two conflicting things where he's like really tanky on the top and then he wants to just yeet, yeet, right? So like I think that there's probably somebody who can play this guy controlled and smart and be terrifying with it. Um and, That ain't me. Yeah, it, it, but I think that the temptation is just to be like like Nomu, where you're just like me throw attack me respond not have card in hand you do seven attacks at me yeah like so so it's just like yeah i i don't know um i i think he's i think he's he's very good i wouldn't be surprised if, i would be super surprised to see him top so i want to put him in b tier honestly because mm. he's a hard check for the format uh but like if you know how to block and you know how to poke like i don't think he's that scary personally i don't know maybe I'm, believe... I'm i'm discounting his six six high 12 like i don't know maybe but like you, you're really discounting that the whole things are printed for huge he gives them a billion damage he yeah. plays his ultra rare like a motherfucker yeah i, I don't know like like i i'll leave him an a but i'm just saying for for the for the for for posterity that i don't i don't think he's that scary um like inferno 2 put six damage on anything all the time and nobody plays yeah. that character nobody has yeah, ever yeah, played yeah. that character yeah like but, like you know it's th there's a difference where his response is almost entirely uh uninteractable for a couple of people in 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 my hero only so i feel like he needs to stay in age just because he actually takes that long to kill okay all right i'll accept that uh in draft uh e easy a for the same easy reasons easy a maybe s yeah I, maybe s man maybe s i he has access to great attacks, right? Um, and it's going to take people longer than average to kill him because they're not going to have the perfect support, you know? Um, but he might be... I'll, I'll accept that. He might be big three with these guys. Uh, he's definitely, like... I, the more I think about it... Because you're going to be checking more four damage attacks, and man, it must suck to check four damage attacks to this guy. You know, like, he doesn't even have to well, respond. His four damage attacks are eight. Yeah, his attacks are eight damage. Yeah, that's, that's good. I, 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 that's enough said on that. Um, and um, then also, in, there in, is the possibility that yeah. you luck out and you just pull a bunch of super region and good luck. So, oh yeah, is that a rare? Uh, it is a rare, thankfully. But uh, yeah, I don't think you're gonna be able to do that. Uh, no, apathetic though. Flip their whole board. Uh, apathetic, apathetic will mess you up. Apathetic will yeah. mess you up for sure. Apathetic is that's a hell of a uncommon. Um, yep. okay. So then, Nomu in standard B, B tier. B tier. I think it's B tier. Uh, so his tools aren't enough. People know how to deal with Kuabara, right? People know how to deal with Kuabara now. The problem with Kuabara wasn't even the response; it was the fact that uh, he got to play eighteen attacks on turn four, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't think this character is scary in standard. I'm not gonna. Do... You what? If he had the good symbol, I could believe in it more under Earth. But like, uh, if you want to play a five hander that does a lot of damage. Uh, you can just play Biako because you cannot rely on his Kameda Foundation to survive. Yeah, I like there's there's something to be said about twelve damage base uh, spirit shotguns, uh, but whatever. It's... In standard, I don't think there's a lot to be said about twelve damage base spirit shotguns. Personally. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I feel like what he wants to do, Biako does it better. Yeah, that's fair, man. I, I'm with you. Uh, Ochako Uraka one dot. Yo, this character's cool. Yo, Kotal Khan's looking thick. Yeah. Uh, in my hero, uh, eight tier. Yeah. Yeah, she's any t any six hander that can loop the best card. Easy, right? She's she's very good. Um, and you can do you can do nifty stuff with her. Uh, I think her, that her rare is sneaky good. Late game, like you, I, it's got a it's got a like a great block. It does a whole ton. Uh, and and just like it if. It's just like you got a high block, dude. It's so good. It, she she does a lot of really good things, and the three speed is relevant. I do want to uh, address uh, level lethal and jet. 
uh, he, he can play Guilty Throne all he wants. He doesn't have the all symbol to draw a card. True. So, like, no mood doesn't benefit from Guilty Throne at all. But back to Warata. Three speed is a lot. Blood like, for the space god. <laughs> yeah, blood for the space god. Like, you know, she has un she has infinite potential. She's like red eyes black dragon, you know? Yeah, she's she's really cool Um, in, in this format. Uh, in my hero format, I think she's very, very neat. I think she's super, super, yeah. super uh, the, cool. The, the simps are happy. The simps are happy. Yeah. In draft, uh, I think you get a bunch of her throws, and you get a bunch of the to Tokuyami, right? Tokuyami Foundation, and you uh, pog out all your throws, right? Yeah, absolutely. Like, and and then uh, like I think that that can work out just fine. Um, but like you know, she's kind of value value city just in general. Uh, there's in, some unfortunateness. You go ahead, man. Where your attacks matter a lot, that she gets to always have her the best one that she drafted is very strong, right? Yeah, yeah. The fact that she can loop, uh, one attack a turn. Yeah, very like powerful. I, I pulled one copy of her ultra rare, and I'm I'm milking yeah. this baby all day. So the difference is that she doesn't like she doesn't like. Like remember, Kaminari is S tier if you if you like uh if you pog out and get a dunk. You need a dunk for this guy. So you I would need also a dunk for I would also put a uh, a thing there because you can't just put you can't just grab all the stuff. Any any attack can do yeah. that. Like Uraraka's A tier no matter what yeah. because you you're bound to draft at least one good high or charge attack. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm with that. And then in standard, uh, I would put her in high B, low A. Like looping moonset, real good. Real but good, you know, you know. Lots of characters do that, right? Well, lots of characters do that, but she, I, this is how I feel, right? Uh, looping moonset, good. That's a that, that's a good thing, you know. That's that, that that's very strong. Uh, looping reverberate. Yeah. I don't know, dude. I don't know. Reverb is a charge. Reverb is a charge. I know it's a charge, but looping that card is whatever to me, like. Listen, you've been able to do uh, Cecil could get a momentum, Moonset get a momentum, reverberate on any water character for the past year, right? You're right. It's not that strong. I just think she's cool. I don't think she's like, better than Kodal. Like, I, I think she's actually B tier in standard. I don't think she's better than, than, than uh, Kodal Khan. Uh, she's not better than Kodal. And, like, if you're saying, oh, she high rolls by drawing two Moonsets on turn two better than anybody, like, drawing two Moonsets on turn two is already the best thing like you're winning that game probably because you put your opponent so far behind. Like if she high rolls you, you don't win. But I don't think that she's not, the best. She's not even the best character that does that. Yeah, who is who is it then? Uh, well, it has to it has to be Kellic, right? Or or if it's if it's not Kellic, it's Kodo Khan for sure. Yeah, I, I, Tim. To be fair, I yes, of course I'm talking about Kali Yuga. It's just that this isn't a foreign concept. Is what I'm saying. This is not a foreign concept. Like, the character looping something like Moonset is not a foreign concept to yeah, anybody. Just think of this, Brownlee. I'm imagining what she does by drawing two Moonsets turn, turn, like turn two. Sure. And then I'm imagining what Kotal Khan does by drawing two Moonsets turn two, and one of them is way scarier than the other one. Right. Yeah. I mean, she's definitely good. I, I don't... I just don't... I don't think she's... I don't know. I don't know. She's not busted. She's a, she's a good, healthy character. Yeah, she's yeah. A, she's good. She's gonna be strong. Somebody... She gives Moonset three speed, and, somebody, you know, people it, like that. Like, uh, listen, like, like, I wouldn't be surprised to see her top because that that high roll is very good, right? I wouldn't be surprised to see her win because it's 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 something that you have you're not going to get every single time. Um, yeah, that, that that's how I feel also. Uh, this guy is unfortunate. <laughs> Great to see tier Dan with Deku, boy. Dan with Deku. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I think that character is boring. His support is is nuts. Yeah, his support's crazy. His enhance has really a like... real cost. And his response also has a real cost. Like, you know, canceling something is super good. Uh just play yeah. just play Aizawa's freaking uh Dude. foundation, yeah. I don't I don't know. I think he's I think he's pretty bad. Which is crazy because, you know, like Twinkle Murdoch did that once per turn and was insane, right? Uh yeah. No, but that's that, because Twinkle Murdoch was protecting a strategy that was worth protecting. That's fair. I'll accept that. I, I think Boy Kula doesn't have that much going for him, I feel. Uh, in draft, uh there's no there's no amount of range attacks that can save your deck because you're gonna cycle. If you if you draft crazy for Todoroki, you actually just drafted crazy for Tokoyami, so why are you playing Todoroki? <laughs> yeah. Um and then in standard, again, poor guy. I don't think I just I just don't think he's a very good character. 
Boy Kula, Poor man. I'm sure Devin's gonna push my shit in with this character. He's probably C tier in standard actually, because he gets a he gets a bigger deck. He's got a lot of great ranged attacks. Like I'm probably not being fair to him. Like cancel something is way more valuable in standard, you know, because the attacks are, are a lot more crazy. You know, that's protecting himself. I think in my hero he's not good, but but like he he he's oh. he's got legs. He's got some legs. I'd put him in in high C. He's got C. some legs. I I don't. I think he belongs in C tier because I can think of a lot of characters that do what he does a lot better than him. But it's like you know that's fair. He can be in C tier, yeah. right? It's not useless. He's just not good. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it, it, there's there's something to be said about like being able to play the redeemed rogue, uh, bow flame, straight arrow, like that. What's that one? Someone might actually use the 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 rare. Uh, what's his name? Uh. Uh, uh, Kung Jin rare, <laughs> one time. What? No one's gonna play straight arrow. Not straight yeah. arrow. The rare, the one that draws a bunch. Maybe I don't know. I think he's got legs. I, I... Oh no! One, no one's listen. If someone's gonna play like High Monk or whatever that's called, it yeah. has to be Striker. It's not him. Okay, that's fair. Uh, Tenny Ida. This guy is really good. I hate right? this guy. I, I despise him. You hate him? I I hate his ass so much. Listen, turning any one of your attacks into a flash attack at the low low cost of destroy this four four check foundation, pretty good. Dude, I, how does he? How does his? How do his glasses stay on when he runs? That's what I don't get. That's why I don't get. Uh, they're glued, dude. They're glued on. Uh, they're glued to his face. Uh, he's he's really strong. I I think yeah. yeah he, he's super strong, right? He's eight tier. Yeah, he's eight tier. He his response really can hinder your opponent when they're trying to defend from you, but he's not quite chin, you know. Okay. What about in draft? He doesn't play. Uh, well, I... the, the one thing I do want to say about Ida is that I do think that he is the best user of his two diff, and his two diff is already really good. Yeah, his two diff is crazy, and his his UR is absolutely insane. Bonkers. Yeah. Uh, Ida in draft, dude. Three speed is three speed. That's a B tier character, right? Yeah, I think I think he's good. Um, he pokes really well, but like the poke, the pokes are valued at how good that poke is, right? Like, if yeah. you're just like, well, I gave three speed to this common attack, right? Like, the characters that are valuable in draft are ones who can use common attacks and make them very, very strong. He's, like, mm -hmm. the biggest, the best attack in my deck is super good, right? This one attack is super good. I, I think he's B tier for that reason. Yeah. Um, uh, I do think it's funny that uh, he, he blocks very well, I feel. He, he blocks very well in yeah. terms of speed. Not, not, not exactly in terms of zone. Yeah. Uh, if he drafts a bunch of mid blocks and a bunch of tape, he can probably survive. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I, he's got legs. It's just you know he's not he's not as good as the the SNA tier characters in standard. I think he's easy A too. He gets eight copies of Lulitu's Ingress, dude. Yeah, he does good eight copies of Lulitu's Ingress. Uh, yeah. Oh man, he gets punch and duty too. Yeah, that he gets eight copies of Werelight and his attack or his, his foundation. Uh, like that's really powerful, right? I thought Satoshi was cool. This guy, this yeah. guy's not. He's cool. Satoshi. You uh, can like. He's both Satoshi's. This is the best part of both Satoshi's. Yeah, he, yeah he's Satoshi 3. Uh, he yeah. also saved the Void Symbol. <laughs> he saved the Void? Yeah, Void Symbol has a dunk, dude. Yeah. Yeah, I think it, I think it's relevant. He's Defensively, he's got legs for standard, and offensively, you know, the, the offensive problem is, is solved by his UR being crazy. The only reason I respect Ida is because he's a Void character that doesn't discard, which means, you know, they at least, they at least thought of another gimmick. Right. Uh, this guy. I think this guy is easy A tier in uh Easy in, A. Uh yeah. okay. This might be personal bias coming in, but I, I kinda feel like I want to put him in, in S a little bit, but no. Um, so cool. in this format, you have to like like his attacks are hella mid, right? Like you could just play some lows, like you, you get to play like all of Bakugo's low attacks and stuff like that. Yeah. Um yeah, he's but he, like he's fair he's fairly static, you know. I just think he's so good, right? Yeah, I, good I, I just think you have to like overload low and that's not that easy to do in this format um his and and like they in the, in specifically this one I, I it's just like you know he's an eventually thing right like in a format where like he can race and he can control and that's really cool so i think that's why i put him in a but i don't is, think he's he, a, go ahead. I, I, he doesn't have any defense in his face apart from just like punishing you if he if he draws out and his yeah. his his action is super strong and all that jazz, but um, it's it's kind of like, uh, I don't know. There's some there's something he's missing in this format. Um, I, and I'm not saying he's really good. He's crazy good. I just I wouldn't put him in S. You know, I wouldn't put him next to uh 
Kirishima. Kirishima, in theory, should walk all over Shigaraki. Because uh, he gets to draw because whatever. He, he gets the perfect block all over. Yeah, he gets the perfect block, whatever so, he wants. Here's how I feel, Bromley, right? Yeah. In, he is an eventuality because if he builds you long enough and he builds very well, he can just play Turn to Dust into Decaying Grip and he can just like. Yeah, he he can just like hammer that one attack. Yeah, he can, time, he right? can do that. He can do that every turn for sure. I, yeah, yeah, I agree. And, like like he's an eventually right. Like he eventually yeah. he will get to you. You will touch you and, enough times. He, the other thing is that under death he gets Ochako six diff from the DLC that is guaranteed as at least one. Which to be fair, much worse than redemption, but it's at least an option. Does that do that really? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Damn, that's crazy. Ochako six diff. So you play a six diff to do five. Like, not not good value. Listen, I'm not uh, saying it's a good idea, but he gets that, I guess. Okay, that's fair. Like, I, I don't I, I don't think that's very good, but yeah, sure, I, I'll give that to you. Um, in in draft, I think this guy is a tier. You just draw a bunch of his common. His common is a low attack that gives your next one plus two plus two, and has a pretty good like in deadlock. It just wins you the game, and and games do go to deadlock in in my in in draft, right? Um, I think that you just get a bunch of his commons, as many as you can get. Uh, mm -hmm. His uncommon is very relevant. If you can get a bunch of those, there's going to be hella mid, mid attacks being thrown your way, and you can just punish somebody. Um, I, I want to I wanna read, what are his, what is his uncommon and, and common? Uh, his common is the one, it's a 3 low 5, if it's blocked, it's really, it's, your it's next attack great, is right? plus 2 plus 2, and then the yeah. cane grip is uh, the uncommon that readies him when he when he blocks with it. Um, right. Okay, so um, I think if you pull, like, at least one touch of the cage, you're in a really good spot with him. Okay. Uh, and, of course, if you pull turn to dust, go ham, right? Yeah, yeah. If you pull turn... The thing is, turn to dust isn't even, like, a dunk for him. I think that his, his workhouse cards are the commons and the uncommon and the rare, right? Like, I would still play turn... Like, turn, turn, turn to dust is, like... It's got, like... Like... Moonset hours where it's like, damn, this is this is a, this is suffocating early, and then late game it's still like destroy two foundations. That's really good. It's such a good opener. Yeah. Jacob says that he didn't see much deadlock in drafts. Do you think people are just dying too quick? Uh, maybe he just didn't see the actual deadlock on the cards that were drafting. Yeah, I don't know. Like some of these comments have good deadlock abilities. Um, it, he's I think he's saying that people didn't go to deadlock. I don't know. If you're playing against like a bunch of no moves, probably not. Like that's the character you have to race. You have to poke them enough times. Uh. But, like, I don't know. I think you can. I think in this format... I don't know, Jacob. Maybe your characters were full of really bad players. And Osai, who just kills you. Yeah. Shiragi is definitely really good. But you can you can, you can can prepare for that, I think. Uh, yeah, he's pretty good. He's definitely really good. I, I, I don't know. His default's real. Do you think put him in, in S tier? No. no like, so, I don't, I... So, so he's got access to a bunch of lows in a format where you're going to have trouble blocking low. And and just in general, you're gonna have trouble drafting enough of the good blocks, right? You know how I feel about him in draft from me, right? Yeah. This guy can fight this guy. Yeah. This guy loses hard to this guy, but beats this guy. Sure. So if you want to just have like an RPS on an S tier. Yeah. Okay. Rock paper scissors battle on S tier, dude. Yeah. Uh, the only difference is that it's a weird rock paper scissors where both of them lose to this guy. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, you know, that that's how it be sometimes. Hey, maybe Kirishima just didn't get any low blocks. Uh, in standard, this guy is S tier, I think, because of Shotgun. Uh, Until Shotgun gets, his, gets, gets his, changed. His common's a low block problem. Yeah. His common's a low... Oh, never mind. I don't think this guy's actually S tier. But I, I do think this guy's this guy is going to cause Shotgun he's to a, get... He, he's A, and when they ban Shotgun, he's A again or B. Yeah. Very high A tier. Like, I would... I would... I would... You'll see 50 of this at an event. Because of the way he interacts with shotgun and standard. So I, I I will speak honestly, right? I think he's A tier with shotgun, and once shotgun's banned, they're gonna build him honestly, and he's still gonna be A tier. Yeah, I'm with you. We're, weren't we just not? No, 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 no. It's not a 12 damage shotgun. It's you partial and you still take five damage, right? Or you you block and you still take five. Yeah. It's not a 12 damage. It's better than a 12 damage shotgun. Yeah, it's way better. It's it's yeah. it's X plus five. Yeah, it's it's whatever how much damage it is, and then plus five. Right. The big thing is that he guarantees that. Right. And Nomu is has no defense. Right. Yeah. No. No defense against this. Like this, uh, is Jacob, that's, this is. That's, that's because one of them was Osai, and Osai is just really good at the default characters. What do you want? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Nomu has to draw the shotguns. Yeah. He he's not going to be able to string it. It's it's just going to be for like. What's it for? It's for thirteen by itself. 
Okay, that's pretty good. Eh. So he, he, here's the thing I feel about, about Nomu and Shotgun, right? Shotgun is a very indirectable card. And when you Elk Shield Shotgun, you take one. But when you Elk Shield Chikarakis Shotgun, you take six. That's pretty good. That That is the difference for me. Yeah, I do think this guy's this guy's crazier than no moving standard, but I, I I think that there's a difference between this guy's twelve damage shotguns and this guy's twelve damage shotguns. Yeah, I I think I think I, I want to say you just to Tim like the, there is a very big difference to me between X plus five and twelve. Yeah. Um, this character, Oswe. Uh, eight tier, straight up. Yeah. I think this she fights over aggressive packages with Tokiyami. Mm -hmm. Like these three right here are the holy trinity of seven hand sized uh, aggro. She 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 would if she if she draws swimming frog she will just kill you. Yeah. Actually. Though this character's cracked actually. I don't know if anybody's been reading the the same cards as I have, but uh, yeah. She's cracked, dude. She's a uh, so she's real she's really good, man. She's crazy. Right, so I, I, I'm I'm going I'm gonna go into our rant here, right? So, uh, -huh. uh, she gets to clear her her attack blocks, which is very good. You know, for the low low price of committing her face. Uh, -huh. uh she gives all of her attack speed after the first one by clearing her progressive, and she gets greatest her own face by just flipping foundations, which means that not only does she have synergy with our Yama support, but she also gets to set up her biggest dunk, which is frog lashing. A frog lashing begins as at a four high six as a three difficulty attack. It has Breaker 1 for no reason. It gets 1 damage for every one of your ready face downs, and it readies 2 cards. Like, this card makes no sense. This is if Swimming Bird was just cracked beyond belief. Yeah. Like, this is the uh, Soul Calibur 6 version of Swimming Bird. Too. Swimming Bird is, like, a, is it, a... It's off zone. Yeah. It's it's 4 of in it's Spike, right? Yeah. And it's better than Swimming Bird. It's a 4 of in Spike. It, I have, I, Swimming Bird is such a good card, but if Swimming Bird was high and had Breaker 1, that would be absolutely just absurd, and that's what this card is. Yeah. You know, she flips her things very easily. She gives all her attacks plus two speed. Her support is incredibly good. Like she has a card, a wonder that just readies itself if you clear this card, if you clear a card this turn. Yeah, and that's just doing the becoming hole. If you want to see somebody complain about getting turn two, uh, watch this character roll fives. Um, because she's yeah. if if she continues rolling fives, she's going to just play every attack in her hand. Um, yeah. not to mention that her common's crazy. Like like a tongue smack is a four high four. That gets two damage if your character's committed and draws a card if a card has left this turn. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I really strong cantrip. It's, it's a six i six cantrip. Yeah, that that card is crazy good. Is that the the tongue smack? No, that's the rare. I think right. It's a rare. no, no. Uh, yeah, tongue smack, tongue smack. No, uh, she don't, she. I don't think she has a rare. <laughs> she does. That oh no, rare. yeah, it is. That at. is a rare. Yeah, I'm looking at it. Yeah. Her yeah. common is the twenty meters tongue strike, which is uh, which is just like. Pretty good stats, right? I wouldn't draft a bunch of that card because it's a five diff yeah. that doesn't do very much. For being a it six, is a target six, six. commit though. It frog is. kick is mad good. Yeah, frog kick is good. After card leaves a card pool, ready a foundation. If this deals damage, your next one gets three speed. It's low four four difficulty two low five. Yeah. Yikers. Four low five, sir. Yeah. Damn. Oh, four low five. Damn, that's that's yeah, that's good. She's good. She's good. Um, speaking of in draft, in draft, I think that she is B tier. Yeah, um, she, she, because she, she really needs her ultimate. Yeah, there. she needs she needs big big value attacks to really get going. I think, um, like she's only good, she's only crazy good in the actual format because she has access to these very very strong contestable uh, 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 attacks. You know, but she doesn't have Toki. Or she doesn't have Todoroki's UR. She doesn't have her own UR. I think she's gonna have trouble stealing the deal. And then in standard, I think she's an A tier, just like in my hero. Ah, uh, I want to push for S again, but I can't. She's not an S. There's, there's no way you can know. kill her. I think that I mean she gets to loop a couple of cards, um, and she gets to do the same aggro package like she does with Swimming Bird and and her own Frog Attack, um. But yeah, I mean she's she's just the same thing where she, if she draws five attacks and checks five fives, you're dead. How do we feel about this, Bromley? Yeah, she's eight tier. How do you feel about Spike with double Swimming Bird? Well, yeah, I think Spike is just an S tier character and always has been. But okay, fair enough. Yeah. Uh, do you think he plays? Do I? Do you think he plays eight Swimming Bird, or do you think that he just plays her version? I think you just play hers. Honestly, you play normal Swimming Bird. You might play like a like a like a like a four two or something like that. But her attack is just better than his, right? 
It is just better. Well, yeah. so so the uh, difference is that Swimvert is all face downs. Hers is already ones, right? Yeah. So like later string, it's it, it is tempered a bit, right? Like it, it's yeah. kind of its value is mostly on the as the opener later, but like it readies it is at least getting two damage, right? It's at least for eight. Um, yeah, well, and, one from Spike. Yeah, like it's and... it's it's very good. It's a, it's a it's a one mid with breaker one. It, it just has better stats overall, also. Yeah. You know, sp uh, water spike's main weakness is that he only goes mid, and this is this is a high attack that's for a lot. That's true. That's true. Um. Oh, Yama. All right. This is this is I. This this kind of my boy. I kind of love this dude. I think he's hilarious. I think he's B tier though. I think he's fun tier for sure. I think I, I think he's high B tier in my opinion. High? Really? I mean, he can kill people. He can build people for sure. I think he I think can kill people for sure. I think the less intelligent you are, the less stocks he he gets. <laughs> oh you know? man, then I'm not gonna be good with him. Cause no. like, like if you just unga boonga out with this guy, you run out of gas and can't do anything for the rest of the game, right? Yeah. But like, but, it, but, but, like, but if you smart, if, if you, you grognard smart, if you grognard smart and you like save your shit and you just like do the right amount in every attack, boy howdy is he pretty good. And then just like dropping a big damage attack. As the fourth form in a turn for basically yeah. free is pretty good, man. I think the dream Brumley is to go like uh, tongue lashing, uh, like to go froppy you are, froppy you are, his you are, commit your phase, his you are again, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. or like drop down the yeah, yeah. I agree with that. Yeah, I think is, I think just... that his his late game problems get solved by the froppy you are, which is kind of funny. Um, because I ran out of gas, but this card says for every gas I ran out yeah. of, it gets gas. I call call an ambulance, but not for me. Not for me. Um, uh, he has okay. He has some pretty neat defense. I feel you know he has super region. He has uh, apathetic. He yeah. gets to unflip. A unflip the world is pretty crazy, guys. Unflip yeah. the world is pretty crazy. I I, I would. Heck I'm even. Planet. I'm even tempted to put him in A for that reason. But I think that he's he's kind of like like you know he does run out of steam. In... I feel like someone that's really good at the game is gonna just have to pick him. And just become good with him as a choice is what I feel. Sure, yeah, that's fair. I'm definitely gonna build like, a, no one's an Ayamide because he's good. People are going to make him good. Yeah, he's fun A tier, like but actually B tier. Mm -hmm. uh, in draft, I think this guy is kind of bad uh, because a lot of his value is in huge dunks, and those don't exist. But there is something to be said about being able to play with pretty good big attacks right like his his common mm -hmm. is kind of large so if you can get a bunch of those like i'll put him in b i just think that like you gotta get a bunch of his common and then he's got like no tricks after that right like you gotta play like robbie thing uh you get uh on life you get i don't know what else you get really to me it's all about asking a question of did i pull cape and did i pull naval laser beam right well, you don't need a uh, I think his common is good enough to carry him, right? That's yeah. like a that's no, like an eight minute eight yeah. very easily. And then if you get his common enough to carry him. Yeah, like, and, and if you, you get have, just, you have to make a choice. If you get a thousand of tight lipped, you're you're like golden, dude. It's a one mid. <laughs> and then like what, yeah. when you're ready, you can just be like, Alright, I've got ten foundations. Right. This attack is coming in for twenty. It looks so good. <laughs> I do feel that he is better in draft than uh than uh Froppy, than Ida, and than Mineta. Right. Yeah, he's definitely. He, he, yeah, I think he's better than. Uh, yeah, I think in draft he's he's good. He's good. Like this is a good tier. Yeah, you can, he does. You can do he does his, if you have to pick between Asui and Oyama, if you just want to be better, you have to pick Oyama because he has the bigger health pool and he gets to do the more with less things. If you can sideboard, uh, play these two guys. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Huh. Um, and then in standard, this guy is C tier for sure. Like, there's something to be said about about non prog shotguns, but uh. Boy, yeah, has has no one ever played a uh, striker before? That's not enough, right? The the moment that you put him against the things standard can do, yeah. he, he he loses a lot of sauce. Yeah, I mean there there is some like he, he you can you can do something with him, you know, like shotgun yeah, for can. free, shotgun for free, dude. Shotgun, uh, shotgun for, free. for free. Late late string moonset for free, late yeah. string reverb for free. Like yeah. there's a lot of things you can do. It's However, or not, there's a character with shotgun on his face. Whose entire job is playing shotgun for free, right? Oh, what's what's his name, huh? Uh, his name is Shotgun. Oh, does does he also get to play his shotgun's cousin's gun? Yeah, dude, he does. Yeah. Uh, also, to be fair, Bromley, th there is a character that plays shotgun for free after a very long string of cards, better than Oyama, and it's just Ibuki. Ibuki. So. 
I thought she makes... Is it her next attack? Her next attacking was progressive. So you go redemption, build, 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 shotgun. That is true. And even that's not good. That is very true. Even that's not good. However, I will have a lot of fun playing Oyama in standard and losing to Janet. So, you know, uh, moving on. Yeah, it is funny how nobody ever played Ibuki ever once. All right. Well, next one. This guy can't be played in draft, but people are super scared of him. And I don't think they have to be. I he has one trick. He has yeah. one trick. He sure does do one thing pretty good, right? He, I... he just becomes this guy. Yeah, right? once. That's all he does. He becomes that guy one time. And then he loses the game? Yeah. Yeah, somebody, somebody's going to have to prove me wrong, but I think he goes into B tier right next to his his uh, his uh older brother himself. Yeah, I, I, I do think all, there's All Might's better just because he's more well-rounded. Well, so so here's the thing. You can you can just not die, right? This guy's not packing speed or anything. Like just just like block and he kills himself. Yeah. Right? Or gets yeah, himself he, down he, to he, enough he, health that like you can just one shot him. Like people people talk about his enhance a lot, but it's like there's only so many all mites you're gonna be able to discard unless your deck is just Quan Chi levels of six. Yeah. Deck. Like he he's good. He's definitely good. I don't think he's crazy. Uh yeah. As a guy who's who's made a living playing off of a playing a bunch of character cards, this guy does not excite me. No. Yeah, uh, it doesn't excite me at all. Like everybody's yeah. seeing the number seven next to the number thirty, and it's not really that, right? Like he's in my opinion, he he's B tier competitively, but fun in terms of fun. Here, this is where we get along. <laughs> Got him. Got him. I don't. I don't actually think that you can't play him in draft. I, I don't like him. I just don't like him. I don't like his face. I don't like what he does. I think it's very cool flavor, but I, I don't like him. I, I think. I think this guy should have had his abilities. That's fair. So if you stack this guy onto All Might, uh, do you get the static? You do. Okay. Cool. <laughs> yeah, Gage Might doesn't even <laughs> interact with this guy. <laughs> Gage Might is like, listen, <laughs> I'm gonna meme on you. Stack this dude. <laughs> Somebody's gonna kill me with that character and prove me wrong. It's gonna be really funny. Oh, but if they kill you with that character, they could have killed you with this. Who gets the good gauge attacks though? All right. How do I make? Or you know, Jose tier. Where's Jose tier? Ah, uh, thanks, bud. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Cool. I do think he's Ava. Um. So he doesn't have any support, right? Nope. I think he's B tier, dude. You think he's B tier? Yeah. I. I. All right. Like I believe in you. It's just, I, I just, I mean, I'm just saying, I know you're going to play a million and you're going to kill me, kill my ass with it, but like, <laughs> he sure has water. He has three great symbols for this format, right? Yep. So, like, I believe in you. It's just, you could just be playing one of those characters whose support you're going to be stealing. Oh, you could have a way easier time. Yeah. Or you could just have fun. Yeah, that's fair. That's why I'm putting him in Jose tier. I I, I think if you want to, if you want to play somebody else's package in this tier... Yeah. Yeah, you can you can do that, but I do think he's yeah. he's like B or C too. I, I do agree with you that he 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 belongs in B. How do you support gets... damage up down guy? <laughs> How do you support? To be fair, Tim has a point. Yeah. He has all the support because his abilities are so basic, right? Yeah. Uh, we don't talk about this guy in draft in standard. Uh, Jose tier. <laughs> yeah. No, I think he's C tier in standard. He doesn't do enough, uh, right? Reversals. Sure. He's he's worse than cut. He's he's, he's worse than, he's cut worse cut than grow. He's worse than cut. I don't know about that. He is I worse than grow. Dude, grow is kind of garbage. Uh, I I have certainly died to grow on turn two two times in teams playing a certified broken deck in Quan. So <laughs> certified broken. Yeah, right. this guy actually just went uh build six on turn one, play six attacks on turn two, and I was like, yeah, that. Here's it. Yeah. That so, kills so me. And then he deal. did it again in the third game. Actually, the same thing. Yeah. He built five foundations, and then he went, I, I drew six attacks, so I'm going to play six attacks. And then he did. So, okay, I'm, I'm going to give, give you my pitch here, Bromley. What was that? He has very cool soleils. His attacks are very big damage because he can string very good. Like, he's a very good fundamentals character. He's not as strong as other characters. Like, you know, he gets to play the air symbol and block really well, but what he does, Shangwa does a lot better with the new support. Right? Like, I think, I think, uh, yeah. he, the fact that he, I think he's B tier in, in standard, right? I think he's B tier, not because of what he gets from my hero and then standard, but rather just because he is 
the okay version of what other seven handers are going to get in the so air. So you're saying C tier is like this bad. It's C tier is not bad. D is bad. Oh, oh no, C, C tiers yeah. are bad. I just feel that if I pick them, I can probably top. You can. I, I think so. C is that. That is C tier to me. Oh, that is C tier. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. Yes, yeah. that is C tier. You can you can top. It's just like you'd have to be like playing. You'd have to have a lot of experience on that character, and you have to like make a really good deck. But that character is not like that character is not good. You you would just have to like know a format and know how to play the the support really well. So, like, I believe in you. I believe you, dude. I believe you can top pretty easily with that character. I just don't think he's very good. Thank you, Bromley. Yeah. I, I do I do, I do, do agree with you completely, though. Uh, the only reason that I feel that he could, like, you know, he belongs in Beater in My Hero Only, but he he's stronger there than he is in Standard. Uh, All Night, this guy, who I've never read once in my entire life, actually. Let me read him. Oh, he's crusty. He's very crusty. Discard the top four cards of your deck. Your tech gets... Plus two damage if it's blocked. Your next one gets plus two damage. Yo, that's high. Four damage on my second attack. <laughs> oh, choice. I don't know. I'm doing everything that was in the in the Nick Reagan stack, and then discard a momentum. Then... Draw one if it's not blocked. Draw one. This guy's so, kind of high, right? Uh, he 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 uh he's he's scaling right. The yeah. more throws they print on these symbols, the better he's going to get. Sure. Yeah, that's true. So B tier asterisk A tier later. Yeah, yeah, that's how I feel. He's yeah. very strong. You know, he, he can afford to not block something and draw a card and draw two off it. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's yeah, fat. Can... That's fat. Yeah. Uh, you know, free damage for milling is pretty strong. Uh, his his attack is okay. It's kind of blank. But I think I think I think. This oh, is that's the one that's like good. three mid seven or something like that, right? Yeah, and he... the, the thing about this all might is um. We'll, we'll talk about it when we get, when we get yeah. to standard. So in standard, he has throws, right? Uh, it's not that in standard he has throws. In standard, he is another engine in the All Might machine. No one's going to play him because you could just be the other two. Oh, yes. okay. Uh, I, I give him C tier, though. Yeah, I, I give him C or B because what he does with throws, other characters do it better. So you can play a fire, and you can play Vicious Bandices, you can play, uh, uh, what's it? Inferno 2 throw, mm -hmm. or Astroth yep. 2 throw. Like, he has enough throws. Uh, you can do a lot of things. The nightmare does a lot better. Yeah, uh, he gets to just give hella damage if you block his stuff, which yeah. uh, is kind of what nightmare does. I put him uh, like you can play this character. He's, he's he's definitely good. Uh, he's not he's not like blowing anybody away. Yeah, yeah. He, he, to me, to me, he's just contextualized by being another engine in the old machine. Ura Rocket Two Five Hander, cause she's thick, dude. Yeah. Just kidding. I, I don't don't. I I didn't say that. Um. He's that bad. He's that bad. <laughs> What's return after your non throat deck deals damage? Add it to your hand. That's a five hander ability. Your next check gets mm -hmm. plus two. Yo. Okay, that's why her six stiff always does damage. That's why her six stiff always does damage. Uh, okay, all right, all right. And then she commits to give an attack minus three speed, and then she just gives everything two speed. Yep. That's pretty good, man. Yeah. That's pretty good. Like, this is this is not bad, right? She loops one attack. It's not bad. She block something so this is like fair zoslamel is this you know like 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 you know and zoslamel is not very well not very often played right air killick yeah air killick no she's not killick her tech has no. to do damage i i honestly think this is like on its face i think this is c tier i wouldn't play this character in this format like looking at all the symbols and stuff like that. her a lot but huh? Kobe likes her a lot. Sure, for like, standard. She gets a... I, I see that for standard. I, I agree with that. Yeah. There's a, you know... There's that death symbol there. Uh, But, like, for the same reasons that Striker isn't played. Like, Striker can play Shotgun twice, right? Uh, I do feel that, you know... Again, this is the standard. If you stack her onto Uraka, shit gets real. But aside from that, you know... Fair. Yeah, but you just start as other Uraka. Um, doesn't get played I don't in even draft. Know. I, 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 don't, I don't even know that's true, because you just have air, and air do be stacking. Um, so, Actually, Colby's playing Fuma, and then playing it again, and... Hold on. What's up? Uh, okay, keep talking about, about Sander or Raka. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm sure she's... I'll put her in B tier, because I believe in Colby Cram, but... Nah, I'm putting her in C. I, I don't, I don't know. This is a five-hander. This is a real five-hander, right? A real five-hander. All right, so, uh, you, all right, so we must recontextualize. Uh, would you like... Okay, I'm going to try to sell you on a Chaco one. Yeah. Are you ready? Okay. 
Uh, Lightning Torture, Lightning Shot, and Storm of Torment are charge gauge attacks. Sure. Sounds like B tier to me, dude. You think that her with this is still still B tier? Yeah. All her attacks get to speed. She gets to double replay one. Yeah, still B tier. Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're talking about a format with uh with with Spike, Yusuke, uh Nightmare. Like that sounds that sounds perfectly great to me. Love it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she she yeah. she's a lot better with with that, but you know. Yeah. No, that's yeah. definitely good. I don't I don't know if I would call okay. it A tier though. You know, like that's that's pretty good. But anyway. Uh, second. It's not quite a win. I have seen this guy. It's not win. It's definitely not win. She doesn't wall break. <laughs> no, like she win. she really doesn't. Yeah. Um, and then her second blade draw one, two speed, four speed instead. Yeah, that's cool. That's really good. This is probably a tier, right? His attack is pretty cool too, right? I don't like him. I mean, I that's fine, he's... but he's he's certainly a seven hander with these abilities, and that's very good. Yeah, if you, I mean, he's seven-handed to give something four speed once. Uh, that's a lot of speed, my guy. It, it's, it's, uh, it's, is it a lot of speed? Is it actually, like, four once is a lot of speed? Or, like, I, I, it I is a lot of speed, dude. I, that's, that's what this guy does, but one better. He's losing an attack out of his hand. He's drawing another card. But he's losing an attack out of his hand. Whatever, like, it's, attack, it's right? what this guy does. It's the same thing. If yeah, this guy is A tier, if this guy is A tier, this guy is A tier. That's all I'm saying. I, I, I don't see it because this guy can give minus to the to, to the to the speed. He can play the first enhance, which allows him to break, you know, a lot of a lot of uh. Like, you didn't combos. play into enough Mad Puro, my man. I really didn't. Yeah. I, I, you know what? You got you got <laughs> my ass. You I didn't did play into Mad Puro enough, buddy. I straight up didn't. Yeah. Uh, just saying, like he. he, he the character like there's value in 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 just being mad puro like this is this is very strong for a seven hander um yeah i believe you i'll yeah. put i'll put the asterisk down dude i i i'm just saying like on its face i've played into another mad puro to know that you, you that don't need dude... the asterisk See, listen, you you know more about this than i do i, I believe yeah. i believe you okay all right i'm putting the yeah, asterisk down asterisk. anyway I, I i wouldn't play him over Edo one okay i wouldn't so like in between zone, is he better than All Might? I don't know. I don't know. That's a lot of damage, and it's not hard to use EX. Maybe I'm overestimating him. I'm thinking I, standard, it, to be honest. I'm thinking standard. I don't know what he does better than Ida. I'll put him in B. I'll put him I, in B. I, I, yeah. I, I it's just like I see, I see him, and it's like cool, yeah. but it's like he has way less health. He doesn't get the defensive bonus that Ida does. Yeah, that's fair. I'll also, he's a lot blurrier. Also, he's a lot blurrier. He is blurrier. Uh, standard, I think this guy is B tier. Okay. Yeah. Uh, just like our boy Mad Puro. Uh, it's Mad Puro B tier. Total. He took hey, a lot of tiers. Thanks like for the subscription. Movie. Appreciate you, bud. All right. So here we have a uh, Frog Two. This is Terry Eight Dot. No, this is Andy. Oh no, he he he's like uh he's Terry one, right? That's what he does. He just cards out a card and gives yeah, he kills damage. a card from your card pool and gives a thing hella damage. This card this card's great. What? This card is insane. I think this is a B. Yeah, and her attack like shoves a card in your card pool, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Her her attack is tornado kick two thousand twenty one. Part part lecture Hulu. Uh A tier or B tier though? I see, like, I, I see B. I see B. Yeah. I think she's good. I think she's very good. I think yeah. I think B though. Would not be surprised to see her dumpster somebody for sure. Mm -hmm. Uh, we don't talk about. We don't have any more draft to talk about. Um, in standard, <laughs> this is C tier. I think. Uh, it's just not enough, right? Yeah. Like I, I would even be tempted to say D tier, but four damage is a lot of damage. No, no, see, not 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 quite C tier. So yeah, she has a relevant ability, which is. I get rid of my opponent's disruptive, like, static abilities on their card pool. Uh, I could see a lot of, like, uh, Ashley players uh, either finding a way to gauge the Zen with, like, Moment of Rest or something just to, like, discard hand cannon and things like that. Or, like, siding into this character because they feel that they, they it answers a lot of issues that they might have. Mm -hmm. Not siding, but, like, you know. This could be cool added on top of this, but... Uh, yeah. I think she's C tier. 
I think she, she's she's. I, th cool. I, th I think she's C tier too. I don't think she's yeah. very good. I don't think yeah. she's very good. She, in no, she's good. She's good. She's a good character. Like this is this is, it's good. It's just not like you know. It's not keeping up with standard. I don't think. I, I'm not. I, I I have no interest to play here. I, th I think is my, my my verdict there. Right. Uh, this guy's crazy, right? In, in my hero. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Fury of punch. Everything's fury of punch on those symbols. Everything fury of punch. Well, not on those symbols actually. On air. No. I don't know. Huh, I'd have to actually good, look at it. What do you mean? He has a lot of good... He has a lot of good punches. Good punches, yeah. He has yeah. a lot of all punches. All punches? What is... All is... All my... Like, he plays all my he stuff. He has a couple of, a couple of Eraser head stuff. He uh, gets all of uh, Midoriya's stuff on good. I think that's that's yeah. worth it. Yeah, I think this guy's really good. Like, that's that's value. For, like, on face. and Yeah, all yeah. of all my support. This is a guy where you play as much dead luck as you can. Yeah. I think... Yeah, I think he's he's very good. I think he's yeah, very, he very strong. Crazy. Of the All Might, he's definitely the best in my hero. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, Gen Con All Might that was released three years ago is probably the best All Might. This is the same hero. guy. Same guy. Same Might. Uh, and same then in might. Standard, I think he's like high C, low B tier. So which one of these is the best one to start with, right? It's probably this one, right? The six-hander? I <laughs> believe that it is... Uh, five hander all might because he has access. He 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 has the cleanest access to the best gauge attacks. Oh, oh, on Earth. Yeah, that's fair. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Either Earth or okay. So he here's, here's, here's what I feel. Here's what I feel. If you want to, you have two options. If you want to be on good, you play this one because he gives damage to win ritual. If you want to be on Earth, you give him to this one. That's it. That's okay. What I, feel. I do think he'd be B tier, even if you're gauging. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, because of gauging, like you know, you can like you can play too. air and get Suzaku shit. Very true. Also, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, in 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 my hero, yeah, I agree with you, Tim. It, it, he just he's got a fat booty, and he sure does see a hundred cards, right? Like that's very very powerful. Uh, Ojiro. Uh, either B or C. What do you feel? Three damage is a lot. He's very lot. he's very six hand size, and he, and he's mm -hmm. got like a flip sort of game plan that's gonna take a while. Like he has Earth, and he unflips like like this is the like, flip game plan is pretty good, guys. Yep, I yeah. agree. Um, I would I would go B. Yeah. B. I I think Jose was saying best gauge on this guy because because he gets the the win throw. I don't. I don't agree with that. I think Air has the best gauge because of mm -hmm. uh, uh. Oh, I I agree with you one hundred percent. But I think All Might's best strategy is because he gets to be he gets to well they both get massive size. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's I think it's probably starting with this guy, right? Like you're thinking when because Air and boy, this guy has Air, dude. No, I, I I was I was thinking the the massive size like Earth defensive foundations, but like a lot of those have air too. You're right. I'll uh, I'll I'll put them I'll put them in A next to the other guy just because I think I think that uh I think that the All Might factory is probably really good in standard. It could be either or. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think I know what the what the difference is. He can't he can't buff any of Biakos any of uh, Suzaku's stuff. Uh, why is that? Oh, because they're not furious punch punches. Stuff. Yeah, uh, but still, still, still pretty good. Still that's pretty fine. Good. You're just good. you're just trying to, to get there. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, but I think this Ojiro guy is is pretty is pretty B tier hours. Like, maybe mm -hmm. C, maybe C. I mean, just the flip thing is really good. He's definitely better yeah. than than he's, these three. He's better than these three. His once per game gets dunked by all the yeah. damage resets. I, and this so isn't me bad. saying that these three are fucking bad. Like, you can play any of these three. I think this Uraka can dunk people. I think the Todoroki is good. It's just, uh, I I think that they are certainly worse than these guys. Um, yeah. Who the fuck is this? What? Where? Oh, because I already put him away. Okay, hang on, sorry. And then in standard, uh, they're certainly better uh, flip characters, right? Nice ones per game, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine getting. Is this? Is this? Can this be canceled? It can't be canceled. Okay, that's neat. He's still bad. Uh, so, Bo Tucker thinks this guy's broken. I think he's good. I think he's good. I think he's pretty good. Uh, I, think I he's good. There's some value in being a functional seven-hander building, and then, like, 
just like when you need to kill somebody, being able to grab what you need. I think it's better than Ojiro, at least. Yeah. Oh, for sure. For sure better than Ojiro. I just don't know whether he's A or B tier. Oh, B. I think it's B. I don't know. Like... It's like you said, the lack of support hurts him a little bit. And his enhance is a little bit... His enhance is okay. Like, two and two is pretty good. But it's yeah. one once per turn. You know, adding an attack and foundation. Like, target drawing is very strong. But in my hero, his, his options are, are a little limited. Yeah. Like, he gets a lot of really good, like, one mid blocks for yeah. his uh, zero, zero cost. Yeah, he, he, like, this guy gets to pick some stuff up. I think he's B tier in standard two. I yeah. would not be surprised to see somebody put a thousand reps in this character and get, like... And, like, figure something out that I'm just not seeing. It's just, like... Uh, he, he loops fatality every turn. Oh, C tier. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, looking <laughs> fatality is not. That's not. That's it is. Whatever. It is not as hot. It is not very hot. Yeah, I had the option to do that with Yoshimitsu all the time, and uh, I sure didn't do that. Mm -hmm. Also, you want to do that? Just play. Uh, play Hie. But but why would I do that? I had a recording error. Uh, that's fine. Let's have the Twitch thing. Um, Ashido is the coolest chaos character ever. And she's not very good. Right? Hmm? Like, this is really cool. Mm -hmm. Her response? Cool. Super cool. Her enhance? Cool. Pretty neat. C tier. Yeah. Uh, and in standard, I think she's a D tier, tier character. So people are talking about her playing, being able to play Manji and stack like something and do something. Uh, yeah, you can do that. At the end of the day, she is an Itali that doesn't get to choose what she's playing for free. Well, you can with with Maji, right? But her options are very limited. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, I think I think she's neat. Like it's it's not quite it's not. Quite... I would I would be very surprised to see that character character top an event. Yeah, it's yeah, not quite you know free crit split for days, right? Yeah. Because crit in, split's not a weapon. In this format, I'm like not surprised to see anybody in in top cut because like mm -hmm. like. I don't know. Maybe I even put her in D in this format. You know, I, I'm gonna put her in D. I know. Don't do it. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold on. What? Wait, 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 wait. What? She's funny. She's funny. Yeah, she gets funny. I'll put a smiley face next to her, dude. I think she's better than. I... Ah, okay, fair enough. She is not better than than Todoroki. No, Todoroki I cancels not. your best enhance. He cancels yeah. staff strike, dude. That's relevant. That is relevant. Um, um Mount Lady is super cool, actually. That <laughs> character's Mount super cool, dude. I do love Mount Mommy. I think Mount Mommy is great. She has cannonade on her face, dude. B tier. I want her to stomp on me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think she belongs in B tier, right next to Kamui, because that's how that, that, that's the first episode she she appeared in. You know. Yeah, yeah. I think she's yeah. really good. I think she could be A tier because uh, those are two very good enhances, guys. Free momentum is very strong. She uh, ha she has a throw, right? Like. This character with with a Midoriya throw is gonna is gonna kill somebody. Yeah. Right. Like this is uh, and she's got she's got all three of Kirishima's symbols actually. Yeah. It's the same symbol spread. So. She is very strong. I feel. I think she belongs either in B or A. I do yeah. think she also belongs in Sad Face tier because she's a promo character. You need for her. True. Mhm. Mm I hope they hand out four of it. They yeah. won't. To every person ever? I will put her in A, though, because Grab Momentum is really strong, and she's the only character who, like... I mean, she scales really hard. I, I think she's really good. So one thing to point out is she has the Void symbol, and uh, she, this guy also has the Void symbol, and... Uh, Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, that that Ooh. uh that big that big knot throw is going to be getting hella damage, guys. Yep. Uh, I, yeah. I, I respect a woman that has Kenrate on her face. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. In standard, uh, I think I would put her in C, maybe B. C or B, because, you know, in standard, momentum of return could be relevant, but I don't know how good Slashman was, but she's better than Slashman, so, you know. Yeah, I I think she's, I think I'll put her in, in C tier. Can I sell you on Mount Rose Mystique? I'm sold, B. You know, I'm going to put Ida 2 into C tier, too, like, now that I'm thinking about it. Hold on, wait, 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 Brumley. What's up? Mount Lady plays Rose Mystique really well. Rose Mystique. Yo, that's hype. And she puts yeah. damage on it? And All she right. puts damage on I'm it. I'm down. I I'm I'm, I'm down. there for that.
Yeah, I'm 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 here. I'm just gonna sit up Oh So <laughs> Let me let me get Jose back. Yeah, that was that was pretty funny. Um, properties, Discord with feed you. Get the pop out over here, and get. This one. All right. Cool. It's Jose. Look at this boy. All right, yeah. Well, thanks for hanging out. That was actually the end of it, right? Let me, let me see if I can... Uh, if I can... No audio? Damn. All right, let me... How about now? Hello. Can you hear me, Jacob? Yeah, yeah. All right, I have. He can't it. hear me. He can't. Oh no, he can't hear me. He can hear yeah. me now. There's no way he could have responded. That he can't hear me. Hmm. All right, so, um, yeah, I think let's do one more pass over this and see if we okay. think it's it's accurate. So, in my Hero Academy only, Kirishima S, because this guy I think is a is at least one head over the rest of the format. Mm -hmm. Um, just in terms of of like being able to contend with most of the other format and chucking a hundred attacks as a five hander and building mm -hmm. really well. And he's just, he's just very strong. Then Shigaraki makes sense in A, Eraserhead has easy A. Do you think any yeah, of these Eraserhead characters- Eraserhead is also in asterisk S because you know, hmm. So you think he's S, I don't think he's S tier. Exactly. I don't think he's S tier. I think if there's anybody in this format that would be in S tier, it would be, uh, it would be Yayorozu, because I think late game she kills she kills just about anything. Okay. But you do you do have to get to uh, get to the end game. I, um, I just I just think he I just think he's a little unfair. That's uh, it. I just you know no interaction for staff strike is a is a real thing, but you do have to get to turn four. Um, and yeah. Anyway, but there uh, is interaction for staff strike. It's it's him. Him? Yeah. You think? Yeah, his foundation. What does it do? It cancels the enhanced on staff strike. It does. Yeah, it raises its foundation. Oh, sure, sure, sure. That's fine. Yeah, yeah I guess it's nothing crazy. Yeah. Uh, I think he's an eight in eight tier because he's crazy too. He's definitely good. I, I, I mean, yeah. like, I'm tempted to put it in B, uh, because mm -hmm. I think that I think that the other two seven hand size aggro characters are flat better than him. Uh, but he is going to kill people just as well as these guys are. Just because he's a little bit worse, right. it doesn't mean that he's not great. I think his enhance, enhance pushes him through because first thing yeah. that he's gonna do is that he's going to commit your damage reset. True. Yeah, that's true. Very good. Uh Asui. Asui's crazy. Zero's good. Jiro's good. Yeah. These are all characters I would not be surprised to see in the top cut. Um these guys too, like they would top. I would be surprised if any of these characters won an event. Um, but like like even Ojiro, like I'd be like, oh yeah, I mean yeah, the, the Earth Flip Fat package in this set is is really good, right? Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, the one that would be most surprised to see when anything would be uh, Mineta, Asui too, and Mina Shoji. So you're in B tier, I mean. so you, oh in B tier, yeah. I, well, I'm just that's yeah. what this this tier is for, right? Like this tier is guys that could top. I wouldn't be surprised to see them top, and these guys yeah. I would be like, oh okay, that's interesting. Ooh. You know that they top like if, like if it was a. Somebody who's like, I knew, like, Jacob Basur took Uraka and was just, like, unga boonga people. I'd be like, yeah, that makes sense. I, I, I would just be like, what? How? Yeah. Um, yeah. So, I mean, that's your D tier, then. Like, honestly, that's your D tier. If you think that this is what this looks like, I'm just saying, like, I'm pretty conservative with my, my estimates, probably. Like, I know you are. I, I, I know you are. I, I, I guess I just have very little faith on, faith on some strategies. That's fair. So, okay, you rearrange the table the way you would see it, then. The way I would see it? Yeah. When you I hard, to, you hard. You hard. I have to rejoin the table, so that's something. So And like, okay, I've been I've been kind of conservative, right? So I do think Midoriya is not topping. Unless you are you are nuts, right? 
Um, I think that this Ashido is a meme. Uh, oh, is your table public, actually? It should be. Just remember that it won't actually be called Buttholes. Um, I think that All Might True Form is C tier. Uh, Kamui is probably fine. No, I agree with all this. Maybe Ojira is C tier, but I think the flip package is... Oh! Huh. What was it? What is the table called? Sorry. Should just be called Buttholes, buddy. Oh. It's because it shows up as a... Oh, yeah, it shows up as a bunch of, like, curse words. Yeah. Yes, correct, because you can't actually say Buttholes. Um, I, 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 I agree with your changes here. Uh, yeah. So. And... But if I was president... Yeah. If I was president... Uh, actually, I arranged the table how you, how you, how you, how you, with your final yeah, thoughts. I'm doing my, my last thoughts on this stuff. Mm -hmm. Um... Anybody in here? No, I think Bakugo goes really good actually in this format. Yeah, I, I I have reconsidered. I don't think Razor Heads like S tier anymore. I personally. Um, and then in drafts, this looks right. Uh, uh, that goes there. I don't think so. I think draft in draft, Aoyama's better than Asui. Aoyama's better than Asui in draft. I think he needs to draw less. Uh, specific tools to be, gonna, to be successful. I'm going to put them both in Z for me. But I do need to write God tier if you draw the UR. <laughs> uh, unbeatable, actually. <laughs> and then, sticky, dude. Yeah, and then... You know what's funny? Stocks uh, and this Brian... guy keeps going down, actually. The more I look at him, I'm like, force speed's really good. Uh, no, but y you have to. It, so I'm. I'm okay. I'm Four sorry for really saying good. no. Four speed is really good. You have to pay f an attack for an ability that gets canceled by overly dramatic. No, not overly dramatic. Uh, yeah, 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 overly dramatic. Yeah. You need to pay for an attack by an ability that gets canceled by what? Living pendulum. I'm glad we spent an hour and a half making our tier list for me to change it the last second. <laughs> yep. Like, um, I, I feel like Ida, Ida, his his response, it does it, it kind of just does nothing because they can spend their entire damage reduction on on that attack. Right. Um. Like at least for the other Ida, if they spend their entire DR on the attack he uses, you have to commit a foundation every time you do it. Yeah. So I mean, like, yeah. So I wouldn't be surprised to see this stuff top cut. Mm -hmm. This stuff could top cut. This stuff, I would be surprised if it's top cut, and this stuff, I just don't think will top cut. Yeah. Um, then, probably winners for the event, for drafts. These guys can contend. They can win. I got a pog so out against he, these guys. Here's a really funny thing, Brumley. Uh, Bryant uh, went second at his draft. Uh-huh. He played Mineta, and he pulled the ultra rare. <laughs> yeah, dude. God tier, yeah. dude. God tier. If you God -tier. have it. God tier, baby. Uh, you yeah. Hard, you hard. All right, I'm I'm with it. I'm gonna I'm gonna screenshot, print screen or what? What's the uh shh, uh, I can get this guy for my hero only. Do one of these, okay? Snip, okay, and then here, same thing. I guess I can just get it from the vod. Never mind. All right, change it to your to your liking, my buddy. My only period right. release event you get to play in. I mean, it's your draft, right, dude? You can't really like. You gotta like get good stuff on your first two draft things, and then, and then you have to adapt to your draft. Yeah. All right. If I was president, you want you know what I would do? What would you do? Huh? Yeah. I don't think he is that many degrees above everybody else, in think, my opinion. I think he is, man. Yeah, 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 exactly. And I think I think that, that that's where the difference is going to lie for uh, the yeah. way that, that we think about the game. Uh, I think Hiroshima is extremely good, obscenely good if you're very good at the game. Uh, I think his floor is very, very uh, high and his ceiling is also very high. But from what I've seen of his support and from what I've seen from what the other characters... I don't do, think his floor is very high, dude. I think his skill floor is incredibly low. It's just build attack. Oh, I had an attack. Play attack. Pick up attack. Do attack. I think the skill floor for that character is incredibly low. 
He be here. He 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 beats himself very easily sometimes, right? When is he gonna beat himself? Like it 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 it's it rewards like playing like like a like an animal, right? Where you're just like uh, yeah yeah high high floor, which means if you don't know, if you don't know what you're doing, it still does well. No, that's low floor. Low floor. You don't have to be no. very tall to ride. Low skill floor means that you don't have to be very skilled to play the character well. Right? Oh, I was talking performance wise. Oh, I see what you're saying. No. Yeah. No. It, it, let's let's Okay, so ceiling and floor is just like to be able to play. I think that the, oh. the, it is Sorry. it would yeah. be very easy like like if you if you're really good, you'll do really well with that character, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah the yeah, floor yeah. Okay, is like is this character hard to play, right? I see. Okay. Right? Like yeah, Momo Yayorozu is kind of hard to play because of all the moving pieces. Jiro is hard yeah. to build because of because of how weird the, the deck building yeah, I, I was thinking is. about it in terms of I saw was hard to be. build, right? Like I wouldn't describe Shigaraki yeah. as a high skill floor. I no. think he's a I think he's a very low skill floor and a very high skill ceiling, right? Because you can just yeah. eat attacks. Um like same with like Ida. Ida Ida's like simple simple pattern is very easy to recognize. His synergies are very easy to recognize. Um you gotta read a lot of cards for like characters like Kamui Woods. Gotta read a card a lot of cards for Todoroki probably. Ah, Todoroki just shoved a bunch of range decks. Anyway, sorry. You get what I'm saying. Floor is how yeah, the floor is how hard it is to play. And then ceiling is how is how what what's the limit on how good they can do, you know? Like a character yeah. with a with a with a with a low ceiling would be like Nomu, right? Nomu's ceiling is just like all my stuff is big. Mm -hmm. Right? Like there's not much you can get past that bit, right? He's gonna right. be very predictable in the way he plays. All right, this is how I feel. <laughs> okay. This, this this is how I feel personally. Okay. Uh I, I just believe that you know, looking at what the character the options the characters have and looking at what they can do, uh, I feel like Hiroshima, while still probably the best character, I don't know if I would put him on an entire tier above everybody else personally, right? So like the the thing yeah. is that if there were a character that might get banned in this format, it would be Kirishima. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh I, yeah, and it's like I, I just don't know how to how I feel about that. Right? Okay, yeah. I don't think he's unbeatable, yeah. so I agree with you. I, I think that there could, there's an argument, and you're making a good argument for A. What about in standard? Do you think uh, he's uh, S tier? I, I, I did I did do a couple a couple other changes. Um, okay. I moved no mode to B because I think that his stuff is extremely predictable, and the more the game goes on, the more people will be prepared for no move. Uh, the things that he does, you know, he gives big damage. People can block him very easily, and they can re reset his stuff. Okay. Re region is good, but he gets disrupted very easily. Uh, let's see what else. What else did I move? Uh, I put Ida as we into C because I, I just do not believe in their game plan hard enough, right? Asui's putting four damage on things, man. She's putting four damage on things, and that's that. That's a lot of damage. I, I agree with you there, but like it's at the cost of eliminating progressive for my opponent, which is relevant. Uh. And if you want to put four damage on things, I feel like there's other characters that could do you better. Yeah, but her, hers is pretty free, right? Like I, I think that that's a lot of damage. It's a lot of damage, yeah. and she gives speed on things. I, I agree with you. That's a lot of damage. Yeah. I, I, I just don't think that's enough. That's in, her. In, in I, we, that's where we'll disagree. That's fine. That's totally acceptable. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Deku's up here together with the rest of the boys. I think Mina's D tier because she is that random. Yeah. You could just, uh, I mean, the, I think it's funny that she gets to play an attack for free every turn, including going second, but like, yeah. She, she has the, uh, she, she has the, the, the Yoshi thing, which is like, I checked the weapon. Will I check another weapon later, or do I just cash in now? Right, right. Yeah, and then it's like, oh, I guess I checked foundation the whole way through. What, what? Yeah. What about in standard? Do you change anything in standard? Uh, in standard, I think I mostly just agree with this. Yeah. Yeah. I think that this is all around a very good set, right? Like, actually... Hold on. Hold uh, on. I think stocks okay, in Tokiomi or, or in Todoroki go up in standard because of his cancel being um like defensively his his cancel is much better in standard. Because cards get better, right? Yeah, cards get better and that means it's like damnation terrible on release. Nuts mm -hmm. now, right? Yeah. Uh, uh it's it's that it's a commit that gets me. Yeah, I think that's fair. I do think I would not be surprised to see somebody top with that character. Is what I'm saying, though. 
I would see, be surprised to see them win, but I'd be like, yeah, squeaked in at eighth place, totally. He he does have fire. Yeah. This he Ida, does have fire. Yeah, like yeah, I, I think I think he's good. He's not like exciting, and he's not like super great, but he's he's good enough. If he could cancel responses, I would believe in him a little bit more. But yeah. yeah. I don't think that this All Might is trash can either, but like I I don't I don't know. I just play one of the other All Mights in standard. Yeah. He he's only trash can relatively speaking. Yeah. Because you know, why would you add him in? When yeah. You could just I, be in so the other I know that some people have se have said this character's cracked. You know, he's insane. Um, I just I don't know. There are certain characters in this format where if you disrespect their offense, you deserve to die. And that's one of them, right? Like if you just if you just swing into him because he's because you're like oh he's gonna. Like, oh, I'm going to get him because he has low... He's going to be losing health every turn and stuff like that. Like, three damage is a lot. And he's going to be cycling. He'll be able to give something powerful and discard cards from his hand. Like, yeah. don't get me wrong. Uh, That's really good. But I don't... Yeah. I, I don't know. I feel like into a evenly skilled matchup, I don't think you're going to be able to, to do it. Yeah. I'm going to reposition your tier list, Bromley. Yeah. Because uh, the, the table save without Mount Lady on it. <laughs> Where do you put Mount Lady? Uh, I put her in A because she uses she uses Sarah's thing so well. Yeah. I think that alone is enough to, to push her into A tier. Right. I agree with. I do think that this this Ashido is has big time like afterthought energy. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. She, she's very much uh, late in development. What are we gonna do? Like I don't know. No, but like the other promos don't feel like that. Like this comedy seems cool. Mount Lady seems really cool. Oh like, yeah, uh, Mount Lady is as is, is, is like cool. I don't know. Yeah, yeah like yeah. A, a lot of promos are very cool, like Shoji, Kamui, yeah. uh anyway. Mount Lady. Yeah, so anyway. I'm proud of this these tier lists. I think that yeah. uh relevant for, for I'll I'll end looking at this draft. If because this is what we're mostly gonna be doing, and then we're gonna start testing and really see what the format is like, because I'm sure that my opinion on this will change after actually playing a ton of these decks in person. Right? I played a bunch of this stuff in PBT. I've brainstormed and theory crafted pretty much all of these characters. I've um, fucked a lot with Conway Woods, you know the usual. Um but like uh, in draft, this is this is just looking at all the comments and uncommons, uh, at the way that you need to be able to block. Which spoiler alert, it is mostly high and mid. Uh, have enough low blocks to be able to get past like a Shigaraki or something like that. But uh, play plan to be able to deal with these three. And if you like anyone in this A tier, if you just get a bunch of something important, you can kill somebody, right? Like mm -hmm. with with Eraser Head. Um, if you pull a bunch of his, like, discard one momentum common, I think it is, it's like, that's a lot of, that's a lot of damage. And like, he, he he'll eventually somebody, you know, he, you could get enough valuable stuff for Tokiomi. If you get enough of the action, you're going to win in the game. I think at some point, uh, it's just, it's just like, at some point you will have two in your hand and kill somebody with four attacks. Um, and his common is really good. Uh, with Jiro, you want to be aiming for Uraraka's, uh, throw. Mm -hmm. and like Denki's uh, uh, momentum cards uh, and her own flash attack. Uh, if you... Uraka, you want to aim for Uraka's throw? Yeah, you want to aim for that throw. That common throw is really good in this format, in this little, in this draft format. And then for Denki, if you get a dunk, uh, this guy becomes S tier. Um, if you find, if you find a couple of dunks, if you get his rare, if you get Uraka's rare, um... If you get even Jiro's air, rare can sub in for it, but it's only powerful to like it's you can you can definitely get there. It's just you know you you want to be able to do something with your after you do your once per game. Um, Saro feels awkward in draft because he's so attached to his UR and uh, Todoroki's UR. In my opinion, I mean I know he only has one thing, and like he needs he needs a dunk. He needs a dunk. Real hard. He needs to be able to seal the deal because if you're, like, four to four to six damage is not enough. It's not threatening enough, really, um, to to do it for me. Um, Mineta, yeah, Ida, yeah. These make sense. All Might in draft, yeah. He really wants like, you know, like Value Town, and his attacks. The attacks he gets that are common and uncommon are not too value. 
He can dunk somebody. Uh, I might put him in B. I do think I, I don't think I, don't I do know. think you're trolling if you pick Yaya Rozu in draft. There's just not enough. Like you could probably get a thousand of the weapon foundation and just like pog block everything, but I think that's trolling. And then same with Todoroki. You're you're not. I don't know if you're gonna yeah. be able to draft enough range attacks. Maybe I don't know. But I think your deck anyway, size I'll is gonna be so small. you guys tomorrow at the pre release uh, jamming Yaya Rozu like a madman. <laughs> do it buddy I, if i had a plan it would be i think nobody in draft is going to be drafting for um these three right for mm -hmm. jiro uraka or kaminari and i would be like drafting you know passively drafting and depending on what i got like if i found a bunch of the flash attacks play jiro if i got like good solid pokes uraka and if i got a bunch of dunks kaminari for sure yeah um but i would be planning if i had a if i had a way to plan to do that and if you just open a ur like for any of uh you know, any of these five, basically, you do it. Or, and Sarah. And Sarah. Yes. Yeah, well, Sarah's UR isn't, like, like it's weird, because you want four of that card, I think. Yeah. It's not, it's not quite like oh, like getting a, a Mineta UR, right? It's yeah. the same thing. Like, if you get Mineta UR, you get to live the dream. Um, yeah. But, like, yeah. Same with, like, Nomu's UR is so threatening. Uh, and, and, and Kirishima's. But, anyway. Thanks for joining us, guys. Uh, enjoy your drafts. Enjoy your... Your uh, your weekend, you know, it's a long weekend. Tomorrow is, what's it called now? It's Native American Appreciation Day or something like that. Woo! I think that's Monday. Woo! Yeah. I don't know. Oh, Monday. Woo! Sorry, Monday. Yeah. Enjoy your long weekends. Uh, like, subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's unfun stuff. I'll be posting that there later. If you're watching this on YouTube, uh, go like and sub like and follow our our Twitch yeah. channel. It's like sub and subscribe. Unfun stuff, yeah. So yeah, if you want t-shirts, we got t-shirts on Teespring Bros. But enjoy your drafts. I'm gonna be loving mine tomorrow. Yeah, and play Kamui. That's a that's an order. That's an order.